Whoop, whoop. I will whoop. post I it. Your, I see your wow. tweaking. I see your oh. wave. Oh, we've I got see your snapping. messages coming up. Let's get rid of those. Boba? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it's a boba tea. Oh. Hello. Oh, Jack Mab. Uh, Hello, and it's Internet. Funny because it's E. Didn't we load in it. the right size though. I'm gonna have to gonna have to change that. You gotta make sure your boba tea is properly sized. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an easy fix. Easy fix. Oh, goodness, we're on. We are we're we're live. On. No, oh, okay. didn't see you there. Prepared. Terrible. Hello, Oops. welcome everyone to episode eleven of the Frog Pond Academy, a magical slice of life actual play five E D and D adventure. Uh, a usual reminder, uh, things are a little bit different than our typical vibe. We don't have all our zany sound alerts going off. Things are a little more chill to maintain immersion in the role play and the story. Um, normally, we like to respond to every single message in chat, but as you know, you know we're 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 role playing, right? We 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 be busy, so we might not get every message, but we 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 will interact. Can as my we can. daddy be recast as Daddy Kiso, please? I love Plunge. <laughs> yeah, that was but pretty dope. <laughs> but I think Kiso would be best daddy. Yes, we we love our daddy Kiso. We sure do. Uh, yeah. So if you don't know me already, I'm a factor of change. My pronouns are he they. Uh, I will be huh? your dean for this evening uh our question of the day that we're going to work on is this loaded i wonder that's question the question the day <laughs> no question of the day are we actually on the internet we are in fact live on the internet yeah we're live we're uh, special. i'm not i'm not here today sorry <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, so the question we have for today, audience, you are welcome to uh, chime in as well. What would be your ideal summer break activity? So we'll start first tonight with Emmy and Giroux. My uh, ideal summer break activity, uh, me personally, it's it's going to water parks. I really enjoy water parks, water slides, lots of lots of fun to be had there. <laughs> And it's and it's just it's it's just fun for me. But for a Lorelei, yeah. um, it would be going around the village, just you know, causing random shenanigans, letting you know farm stock run amok the village in like places they're not supposed to be, like uh, like liberate the ones in the butcher shop and put them in like the whole shopping district, for example, or you know, fill my mother's room with pigs or something cows although my real mom does like cows and our cow did get in the house once when we were kids Oh, well, more than once but still you should let the cow in the house yeah is that how the cow got in you're saying well, it like it's a mystery well um, I'm just, well, well he got out of how his pen he he broke loose in his pen we had a giant uh sliding glass door on the side of the house and the cow just let himself in he got all the way into the living room and got on the couch and broke my mother's couch. Mm. Cute. Mm. Very cute. Mm. Do you not like Super the couch? Super cute. Yeah. Let's go to the store for you can say that. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy Kiso. All right. We are also joined tonight by Obsessive Repulsive. Hey -o. Uh okay, so there's a yeah, my, my first answer is going to be really boring because summer is great for me because it gives me the opportunity to say no to a whole bunch of like summer activities. <laughs> like, hey, we've got this barbecue and <laughs> we're going to go on a weekend. And I'm like, sorry, I got to work. Oh, no, the kids have baseball, some sort of summer. It's just so cause I don't like I don't like doing anything. So it's really summer is my time to shine being the antisocial friend. It's really great. I mean, I know someday I'm just going to be a lonely old man and they'll be like, why is someday in Brazil? Well, you know, older. But uh, Dick, on the other hand, summer oh, oh, for him. That means the harvest in the local villages. Also, uh, goblins don't forage during the winter. So roughly 20 to 30 percent of the tribe dies out every winter and they're cannibalized by other members. So Fantastic. making it through is always a testament to strength and cunning. 
you know, murdering your fellow clanmates and eating their corpse to survive. Uh, nothing, nothing beats the look on a villager's face after they've just secured a really wonderful harvest and they think, this is the year, what a wonderful year this will be for the family. And then they see a horde of goblins just coming over the hill and they're like, oh no. So uh, summer's a great time for stick. <laughs> Sweet, sweet. All right. Yep. Plunge is also here joining us tonight. Uh, the Plunge, the 87th, enjoys a good swim, just like Korig. Uh, I yeah, love just works. going to the lake in the summer or even a pond, just like Korig would jump out of the window into. Um, yeah. Swimming is nice. It's cool. Feels good. Good exercise. But hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell to the yeah. And last but not least, the person we missed the most last week, Squid Monkey. The most. The most. Uh, what do I like to do in the summer? Honestly, that adulthood. That was the question, Squid. Yeah, Pay I'm attention. thinking. I am thinking. Definitely. You should try it. Yes. Wow. Anyway, um, I smoke isn't coming out of the beard straightener. It's coming out of my brain when I think so. I see. I see. So Igor's ideal summer vacation or summer break activity involves a lot of interesting experiments with his mentor's uh, flask of endless water. There was mm. one that would take a little too long to detail, but let's just say a bag of holding will never be the same. Ooh. It was very cool. Ooh. As for me, uh, unfortunately, I I don't have kids. I, I work year round. So summer is really not all that different. Um, sometimes my family will go to the beach or something, and that's very nice. But otherwise, it's just like, it's time. Preach. <laughs> yep. Preach. Yeah, I'm playing all the characters, so I can't really answer that question in character. Um, no, yes, you can. Start alphabetically yeah. yeah. and yeah. character in the college. You want it for all of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You must answer you. for the frogs and the mimics as well. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Every mimic, even mimics you haven't encountered, spoil, right? Exactly. Don't spoil it for the mimics we haven't encountered yet. Plunge will take notes. Be like, <laughs> or I will. Oh, Absolutely. Whatever you say. Uh, oh. Speaking of all that notes, was in his. Uh... Have you seen his log? I don't think you his guys log. can see it. Korig's log. I don't know if I'll, I can get it. No to mimics show today makes Korig a good boy. <laughs> so under. Well, I completely forgot log. about the logs. So I've got to. I've got to start filling out one for Eager. Look at this. Korig's log will be fun. Look at this log, guys. <laughs> check mimic. Check mimic. Check mimic. Check mimic. Check mimic. <laughs> the moment I saw we had logs, I knew what I needed to do. <sighs> oh. Yes, so cast members, uh, just a couple of reminders, uh, especially for you, Squid, since you weren't able to be here. Uh, That's true. Yeah, have, I was watching. You have now access to the campaign log. So there's a couple ways you can find it. The first thing you can do is if you look at the top right, you've got all those little symbols like the chat and the combat encounters and all that. You'll see one called journal. And so in there, you'll have access to all of the journal entries that you can see. Uh, if you click campaign log, it'll pull that up for you. Let me move this. My thing is, my thing is paused. How do I unpause it? Oh, I'm going to reload. Let me do that. No, it's here. I think it's me. Oh, God, I got to fill this thing out. Yes. Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Frog log. Uh, yes, yeah, so under under the book here, you will see the one specific to your character. So Alorele has her own diary. Stick has a compendium. Koreg has a log. And Igor, of course, can take notes. Uh, so feel free to use that uh, during our adventure tonight to write down some personal musings for each of your characters. Can, I, can we read them? Because I can't... Ah. You should be able to read yours, but you can't read other people's private diaries. Ah, um, oh, that's no fun. But if you want okay. to share <laughs> notes with each other, there is a section, uh, page nine, called Session Notes. 
Uh, and so you guys can enter information into that journal right down there uh, about tonight's session. Uh, helps me track things of something that's important. There's also the people, places, and items. If you have interesting things you want to remember and jot down, you can fill that part of the log out. Uh, another way that you can get access to your campaign log, other than going to the journal, we're going to head over to the dorm. And here we are in the dorm. So if you, is this, why is this not going? Is it this button? <laughs> Thanks for the gift, Subby. Lunch. All right, there we go. So if you look at the icons on your left players uh, towards the bottom, do you see the one that looks like ham? It says safety tools. You want the one right above it that's called journal notes. If you click journal notes, you'll see on the map here in the dorm are some special icons. Uh, I click on it, but it still says game paused. It's not letting me do anything. Someone's replaced the Merkmeyer stone with a Mermeyer stone. No, no. No. <laughs> We've been had. Get up. There. Oh, there we go. Wait, now can I move? Why is this not well, let me in my room? Damn it. I can't do anything. I'm totally helpless. I mean, that's usual. Yeah, there's nothing new, but still, it's a little insulting that it's so obvious. I can move you. Uh, frogs are not what they seem. There are frogs. No, yes, there are frogs. a totally official there, not what they seem. <laughs> they're just, they're just chilling out. They're having a good time. They're having a great time. Ah, the they're water. so cute. I love them. But these journal entries aren't working for me either. Why? Uh -huh. I did add to my diary if you wanted to read it. One of those frogs almost ate me. <laughs> well, Lorelei says... If you make friends is... with it, maybe it won't eat you. Uh, Stick is an alien from outer space. He's reading a lot of romantic books to learn how to probe people. I hate my mom and need her to sh and her need to share too much information. <laughs> and why is Korag obsessed with mimics? They aren't that rare or that important or that hard to be. <laughs> I mean, them not being that rare is part of the problem. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Igor's already <laughs> filling out the log. <laughs> Can we drown? A couple things down. Can we drown evil with a flask of endless water and a bag of holding? Hmm. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Um, but if you see those little icons uh, of your journals, uh, you should be able to um, double click that to get in the log as well from this map screen. Did you get your thing unpaused, Stick? Did you refresh? I think it's working, but I still can't move. But now I'm just going to be typing in the journal for the rest of the night. So click <laughs> on like the little person icon. Like, and then. Uh... And then if that's like got orange around it, then you should be able to click on yourself and control yourself. Okay. That's what I had to do. Also, look at the chat. Look at the chat on, on Twitch. Nope, look at it. That's okay. I don't need to look at Ooh, that. Yeah, jumping I can, frogs I can... and twerking Xenoses. <laughs> I like cute. my twerking. I, I love how when we raided into, into Forgotten the other day, that emote just breaks them every time. I love it. Cover that room back up. Perfect. Yeah, I still can't move myself. Can I reload myself one more time? Yeah, or do I have be to, to be... You should be able to reload the page. Are you yeah. on Chrome or a different browser? Chrome A. Yeah, it should work. Oh, for some reason, you have a Lorelei? Why are you in as a Lorelei? That's weird. Oh, boy. Plot twist. I've been a Lorelei the whole time. User management. Is this a thing? I but I'm me. Do? I'm me right now. That's now what you think. Player. You're a player. But I'm moving now, me. Now I can move. Now I can move. Now I'm good. Okay. Well, that was a loud air or exhale. Somebody's feeling it. I don't have a seventh thought of the day. 
seven thought of the day. <laughs> Just move yeah. on to number eight. You're like, oh, I'm getting rusty. I've only come up with six thoughts. Yeah, that's an idea. All right, so let me get back to our recap. Boop -a -doop. So previously on the Frog Pond Academy, uh, we got a little glimpse uh, into the adventures of Harold, Doriana, and Lucia, who were working to attempt to retrieve yeah. Arkin's Tome as something that might inspire the next best festival play on campus. Although their spells were very icy cold, poor Lucia was the third wheel in the heated, passionate exchange between both of the Lorelei's parents. <laughs> Previously, and now we know. How and now we know how a Lorelei was conceived. Yay! <laughs> I don't Previously, need to think about that. It was great. Previously, Especially our considering cast... Obsessive Repulsive was my mother. Yes. <laughs> yeah, was. I, am, I, am, I have come from Obsessive Repulsive's loins, essentially. So you've never actually imagined Obsessive Compulsive and Plunge having sex? Oh, that's too bad. And you no. Have, you you Why have haven't you? Uh, seen my YouTube videos sure. that I've uploaded. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was your OnlyFans obsessive. Well, I mean, it's a preview. You got to get people to the OnlyFans. You got to give them a. That's the censored cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like the, the Skinamax version. Only. You can't see penetration, but you get the gist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, uh, prior to this to our flashback episode, our main cast of adventures went on a little bit of a side mission. As members of the Dead Language Society at the behest of... Teasing. Just a tiny side mission, nothing serious or major. <laughs> yeah, nothing Please. that took us three sessions to do. Yeah, it was only the greatest heist in the world by a bunch of level ones. No big deal. NBD. Yeah, NBD. NBD. Uh, by Dr. Cass. Uh, she is a, a fieldwork uh, lorehold professor who was really troubled um, about some stone that was being put on display in a museum that she thought was going to wreak havoc. Uh, they were successful after several sessions uh, in accomplishing the heist, and Stick chose to uh, store that stone in his room for safekeeping. Although apparently I mislabeled it, so right now it's the Mermire stone. <laughs> <laughs> I took the wrong stone and the world no. ended. We got we the wrong kind of now. stone, not the good kind of stone or the correct kind of stone, but the wrong the kind of stone. stone. It's all we hard. Too funny. Too funny. But yes, you should have access to your logs. Uh, feel free to use that uh, as needed. If I need something... another thought of the day. Hold on. Oh, something that you'd like me to see in your log, uh, just let me know. Um, and feel free uh, as a group to use. I think I already linked it in the chat, but I'll link it again. Still figuring out how this whole system works. Use your session notes. Uh, feel free to use these notes. For session 11. Um, so I guess another thing I want to remind you of other information that you're going to find uh, in the campaign log, uh, you're going to see that year one course catalog again. Uh, if you're interested in, in knowing what classes are available, we're not oh, quite yeah, at the end of the trimester. Oh, are um, we even are we attending? <laughs> we will be going to school today. Uh, Yay, your schedules we have to actually are go to school. all listed um, under the student schedules page. So you should see like a Lorelei schedules right here. Can I just do this? Okay. So it should post a little picture for you guys. Oh, maybe, maybe it didn't. I don't know. <laughs> but each of your schedules are listed there. Um, you can click on that image to get a closer view of what your schedule looks like for the day. Um, I've updated the tracking sheets. Uh, that's a Google form for you guys. Uh, you can use that to update as, uh, as you want to track information about who you've been uh, building relationships with. Uh, so far, it uh, looks like in terms of relationship points, 
a Lorelei has gained a relationship point with Rubina for their work together in the frog race, but of course lost a point with Quintilius for picking on mm. him for being such a little jerk. Sounds uh, like you wrote her off. And Squid, I can't remember why, but I wrote down that you gained a relationship point with Drasimir. Do you remember how you gained that point? Being adorable. Who's Drasimir? Drasimir in the is library, the maybe? library guy. Yeah, oh, I, I think I, I think we made friends in the library because um I don't remember. It's been a, it was a long heist. Um <laughs> Uh, prior, but anyway, I like that guy, and um, I think I think he helped recommend me to the um, to become a janitor. It is ah, my character's yes. temporary dream. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> temporary dream. Yeah. So as well, uh, as the adventure... I need to collect stuff. Yep. A lot of stuff. As the adventure continues, you will continue to gain those relationship points uh, on your RP and rolls. Um, that when they really foster and develop, they grow into stronger bonds and relationships that give you mechanical advantages. Um, but for now, I would like everyone to please roll a constitution saving throw. Ooh. I couldn't uh, remember where I put my dice there for a second because my nephew was there over the weekend. And he's like, I want to play with your dice. Con saving throw. Ah, oh, so uh, close to a fucking 20. 12. Uh, I got a dirty 20. Dirty 20, beautiful. You said you got a 12 stick? I did. Okay. I, I did mine in Foundry. In oh, That'd I see fun. you did pull it in there. Yeah, you can just roll it in family, uh, family foundry squid. It makes a fun little sound. Oh yes, and it automatically that. if you if you go to your character sheet and just click on it, it just like automatically gives you your bonuses. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that then, because that sounds like fun. So if you so double click 15. your token, it'll open your character sheet. I see my character sheet. And then do. so for constitution, you go down to your constitution, click that, and then click yes. saving throw. And then click normal. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, ah. oh, it's not letting me do my thing. Okay, one sec. Okay. Saving throw. I got it. I'm all. Hey. Thank you. 21. All right. So everybody is uh, having a, a nice pe peaceful rest after your encounter uh, in the museum. Uh, and as you're, you're waking up, you all are starting to recall weird details about a strange dream you had something about a library a weird dusty book statues uh getting cold and then getting super hot um and as well, you're and and bang, and bang hot, more like Harold and Doriana definitely did <laughs> I I dreamt I dreamt of Lorelai's parents having sex okay I can deal with that I, I, for some reason, wake up next to Korig, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> God. Korig. Oh, my. Hello, as, I'm, as I'm you're so waking up. Uh, I was looking uh, from a mimic in my bed. Sorry. Stick. Oh, I you, am sure there are, are feeling, no mimics present. You're feeling a lot of pressure in your bladder. You need to get up now. So you wake up first today. Yes. Are you I, talking to me? Yep. Oh, well, uh, I, I wake up, realize my bladder is full, and uh, make a beeline for the bathroom. Okay. Uh, so Stick is getting up. He is making it for the restroom. Lorelei, you now also are realizing, I gotta go pee. Um, I'm gonna get the fuck up and push my way into the bathroom. I gotta go. Do so, I hear like her door rattling? Do we get out at the same time? What's the what's the I deal? should be able to move faster, I feel like. Dick's gonna get there first because he woke up first. 
But do I, like, as I'm walking by her door, do I hear her door rattling? Yes, as you open the door into the restroom, you begin to hear a Lorelai's bedroom door. Uh, I'd like to cast opening. Mage Hand and have it be on the handle of her door to just add a temporary little bit of resistance so that she can't open it. That's for you. Thanks, Mom. No, you're number one. <laughs> <laughs> slips over bar of soap yes yes have stick slip over. Make, make an athletics check <laughs> slide whistle <laughs> so Lorelai uh, yes the door is uh, a little resistant it's a little barred uh, you enter the hallway <laughs> Uh, and you hear the bathroom door slam closed. I'm going to go up to the door and pound on be like, Stick, I know that's you. Let me use the bathroom first today. I'm not Korg. I can't just go jump out the window and go piss in the lake. I mean, you could. I mean, you out. can. Yeah. Well, why be stopping you? That's dirty. The water's dirty because you're the peeing lake in it. Dirty. I hear her. I hear her doing this. Am I already relieving myself? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna make a roll here. Oh no! <laughs> oh, sorry, Lorelai. Okay, I walk to the door and open it and start peeing on a Lorelai, and I say, "It's all <laughs> yours." <laughs> I wasn't gonna... finished, but this is obviously an emergency, so by all means, please go ahead and, <laughs> and... I'm gonna scream to stop you. and be like, ew! Eagle, oh, no, 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 no. Can you please you roll always make it the water sports. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, ew! You're so 13. gross! I don't think this was the water sports that, uh, that Emmy had in mind. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, you said you were in a rush, so hurry up and rush. I'm very thoughtful. It was either this or peeing in the tub. <laughs> I'm and... still peeing, by the way. <laughs> Just what keep on going. For? This, is like, this is like a league of their own pee happening right now. This is like a lot. They're, Goblins they don't pee for days. I invented a watch, but the little I have the stopwatch feature on my little armband going. Some goblins just pee constantly. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you're so gross. Igor, can you roll perception for me? I would Stick gladly. Why? Why? Igor, you said 15, right? Perception for me? All right, one, one sec. I gotta get back, get out of my journal. Why does this dorm only have one bathroom? Where, where I talk, where... Has Igor two. has the thought both in his journal and actually, oh, cool. Can I roll for here? I can. You did it. I did it. Um... <laughs> That's a good tackle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> I'm so terrified. Any, any, uh... Anyway, Le Igor wakes up thinking, these aren't the sex dreams I usually have. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, where are all the robots? Dimensional and uninspired. After I finish peeing, I say, Laura, no. calm down, and I put everything back where it's supposed to be. I cast prestidigitation so that there's no more pee on the floor. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Sorry, I had a weird night sleeping. I apologize. And then I would like to cast it again and put urine all over the toilet seat. Just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> just every worst rest stop you've ever had. And just wave as I slowly back out the door. Have a great morning making breakfast, not even washing my hands. Bye. And then I walk Korak, the you kitchen. wake up to a loud, blood curling scream as Lorelei steps out into the hall. What do you do? Uh, I rush out to see what's mimic. going on. It's a mimic. Hello, the is there a mimic? I heard, I heard a scream. Is everything okay? Do you require assistance? How many mimics are there? Is it a giant frog again? Did the stone break free? Stick is it? Stick just pissed everywhere, and he's a mimic, and he pissed all over the place. Oh, that's all. No, 
<laughs> Carry on. Take and then Cora's just going to jump out the window. I don't know what to think. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I I am like... Didn't Stick die? Did Stick die? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, when did I die? I mean, I want to die. Is that the same thing? Korg almost died. Korg is the one who almost died. I'm still Korg thinking of Igor's sex dreams. So, Lots of math involved. At this point, I just want to just clean up the mess in the bathroom and use the toilet and take a bath and get ready for my day. Square root of negative one is a really sexy number. And then I'm going to be sending daddy a message, mommy and daddy, because this is unhygienic. Okay, stick just pees on people sometimes. Well, I'm going to ask <laughs> mommy and daddy to see if they can maybe send a servant or something to clean up around the well, I'm, room I'm... when somebody named Stick decides to piss everywhere. No, no see, see, uh, Lorelai, I read about this in, in, in biology. Don't worry about it. It's just Stick marking his territory. It's how he gets comfortable. We should go along with it. He can get comfortable fucking outside. I mean, that's exhibitionism, and I don't think it's really relevant to the conversation. Consider but okay. your stick, your bond with stick has grown. <laughs> stick bond. Well, now I have seen stick stick, and I can never unsee it. And so I am going to tell daddy oh. that my purity has been compromised because this boy in my dorm room showed off his wiener to everybody when he pissed everywhere. I would like Enough. to say, I would like to say that uh, Stick would not have made it an issue about, like, whipping it out. I would never expose myself. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure you Somebody... just opened it and they just, just kept the... No, the... it was just, oh, you know, like, a little little hole. It was just coming out the hole. All you saw was the stream coming out of the pants. It so was you just pissed so much your more... own pants? Yeah. And got it all over the floor. <laughs> Prove a point. That does sound like Stick to me. Yeah, I don't. It does I, sound I'm like not, Stick. I'm not, I'm not here to expose myself to anybody. I'm here to make a gross, gross point. And then Actually, Igor, Igor, maybe it's just a dream, but Igor is starting to think this is a mating ritual, so you might want to just stand really still. Ew. I don't, I don't know if goblins... Our mating rituals don't necessarily involve rituals. It's just a lot of uh, assault. So <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't think that's part mm. of the program. Fair enough. So Igor, uh, you you wake up feeling pretty rested. Uh, you got to have like a really nice, uh, no bladder issue night. Um, you had lots of great thoughts uh, and dreams. Uh, and yeah, my log has them all. You, you can wake, go read them. You wake up right after the commotion. Uh, completely. Okay, we've got 11 thoughts of the day so far for Igor. Igor had just woken up. So Igor wakes up, and the first thought was, can we drown evil with a flask of endless water with a bag of holding? Can the Quandrix classroom be bent and Mobius strip style to allow us to attend classes when even out in class? Does anyone else hear weird voices when we sleep? V equals 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th J. Can we use lightning magic to supercharge the watches? I love you, Allosaurus. If we locked a mimic in a hall, mirrors, would they become a singular treasure chest? If we turned a bag of holding inside out in one of those exploding quadrix rooms, what would happen? Can we turn a bag of holding inside out? The first principle of reinvention is that everything has a use, not just necessarily original use. These are not the sex dreams I usually have. They usually involve <laughs> integers begging imaginary numbers because the square root of negative one is really, really sexy. Bomb, chicken, wow, wow. Uh, wow. wow. All in the first five wow. minutes of rising. Wow. Uh, I, my, my, Igor, that's my, a lot. My notes are now really stupid in comparison. <laughs> I'm sure they're wonderful. You should share them. Uh, how do I share them? I don't know. Is that a thing? They're on there. You can make effect to read them out loud, and it's you hilarious. Can't make me read them out loud. Uh, <laughs> or you can read yeah, them. None of them. None of them are terrible. Uh, I guess they're not too bad. I don't understand why I'm here. Death would be a sweet alternative to this inescapable nightmarish hellscape. The turtle appears to be simple, but it might be a ploy to eat me in my sleep. Keep close in case. Fair. The tiny, the tiny one speaks as if silence is their worst enemy. 
Sure. The demon also doesn't want to be here, but I think for different reasons, comes from a life of privilege, must remember to rob her later. <laughs> the blackouts continue. Why am I compelled to read these awful romance novels? And there's something oddly exciting about stealing something without killing everyone and everything in the immediate area. That makes it a new challenge. It makes yeah. perfect sense. It's a first. It's a first for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, stick's definitely having some some character growth, whereas Koreg is predictably mimic check, mimic check, mimic check, mimic check, mimic check, mimic check, mimic check. Koreg <laughs> has already grown Wait, to I, I the. Got I got another. At level one. one, he's already peaked. Yeah. I got another thought. I got to write it down. Hold on. <laughs> By the end of this game, it's going to be like 7,000 words in Igor's document. Just probably. It's going to start <laughs> lagging the foundry. <laughs> the entire foundry service is going to crash because of a text document. Could be. <laughs> it could be. Accidentally uh, writes a virus. Accidentally. <laughs> So as you guys are, are getting ready, uh, Stick is preparing breakfast, uh, not I washing am. his hands. Uh, they, well, I pressed to digitation to d- 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 them. That's the proper That's tense, I think. That's not the same as disinfecting. You don't it's disinfect exact... yourself with it's press to digitation. There is nothing that says press to digitation takes the bacteria off your hands when you press to digitate the gross liquid shit you had all over your hands. Agree to disagree. Anyway, I'm getting my hands all in there, kneading the dough and everything like that. So gross. (laughs) So fucking nasty. (laughs) Uh, Korag is taking his usual dip into the moat, saying hello to his little froggy, froggy friends. Including the one that ate him. Including the one that ate him. Yeah, keeping my distance from that one. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. Rabbit. So tiny. It's like a cat. It I just visualize Korig, Korig slowly raising his hand axe as it gets near and be like, "Stay back, Rabbit. stay back." Not to the cave, bean. And Oh, I have, I have sixty-nine prime alert alerts. Uh, prime alert. Prime loot alerts on Twitch. I hate to cancel out nice. of this, but I just wanted to let you guys know. You better nice. stock up. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> you know, 69. So good. Such a happy number. It's a great number. It's a great number. If someone donated 69 biddies, it would be even greater. If there should be something that, that you can that give to someone. Right now? I think it will. I think it will. <laughs> let me test it. Let me There's test. only one way to find out. I think it does work. Money uh, makes makes the content be damned, right? If Korik had sex with a mimic, would the mimic have a hard hard shell? Oh, it might not be activated. Oh, okay. uh, what a sixty nine tease. Okay. Is there a way you can like play it at a mix it up or something? If Korik had meant- sex. If Korg had sex with a mimic, then it wouldn't be Korg. It was just two mimics having sex because there's no yeah. way Korg would touch a mimic unless he was killing it. I wouldn't. What if the mimic? What if the mimic was dream of disguised? I don't as... think Obsessive oh has God, ever yes, seen daddy. the sixty-nine bitty redeem. Give it to me, yes, daddy. Harder, daddy. Give it to me, yes, yes. daddy. Harder, there we go. Daddy. Yes, daddy. Well, that's something. Harder, daddy. Harder, daddy. Harder, daddy. I gotta put your so face. Daddy. Put your face right there. I mean, look, I'm not. Hey, hey, look, hey, Plunge, you can celebrate your uh, new 500 followers however you want. I'm not here to judge, but make sure you get Effector's permission to use that video of you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Wait, Plunge, you hit 500 and I did not notice? I'm sorry. No, I've not yet. No, oh, okay. I thought you did. No. Oh, fuck. He's close, so he's really close. close. Yeah, what the fuck? I thought you hit it. Hold on. Now I'm just Everyone now I'm checking. Everyone follow Plunge. Yeah, and seriously. Like, well, listen, I've not been paying attention and I hate it, but I don't think also, that's also everyone should follow Eff- Obsessive because it annoys him. Yeah, yeah should follow, follow, follow all you of these have. beautiful humans in the chat. I, I must have I must have checked it in the morning and I missaw it or something, or my brain just doesn't work. You can follow work me, but there's really no benefit to it. <laughs> there there's, is. All, there's no benefit. There's a very much a benefit to following you. You're an entertaining yeah. streamer. There's a negative benefit to following me because it directly leads to my unhappiness. Yeah, but that's Which kind is, of fun. Unless we want that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why would you guys want that? I'm a nice guy. I'm a little antisocial, but other Are than you? that, I'm I'm pretty much on the up and up. Yeah, but sort it's of. 
kind of. Uh, okay. Semi. Despite the pissing incident? That wasn't me, that was Stick. Oh, okay, my mistake. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, I'm potty trained. Ish. Sometimes. <laughs> Mostly? I think I saw Slightly. Pilardo was live yesterday. And yeah, he and... finally came back. He, he moved. That's why he just moved oh, into a new house. So that was uh... a couple months of him trying to do okay. that. He's got a dope new place. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, the light, it's like his, his background and everything. It looks really nice. Like yeah, that. he was very excited about his new little Twitch den. All right, so as you guys uh, get up to your typical morning antics, uh, your uh, wristbands all seem to be a buzz. Uh, Igor, you see a little heart emoji message that just says from Allie. Huh? I'm going to send back a heart. <laughs> Uh, you see that this morning, uh, your first class of the day is going back to A is for Ankig, going through each of the magical beasts uh, of the 26 monsters. Did, did we ever Zoom. actually talk to the headmaster? Because I know we were going to do that at some point. I don't think yet. I don't think yet. No, this, okay, is, this is literally the next morning, so. Ah, okay. Class first, huh? Yeah, we got it. Apparently, this is a learning institution and not a prison. You guys do take a class with the director. Uh, you were Generalist 103 class. Thinking about magic, overview of magical meta ethics is with the director. So that is to come. That is to come. So let me pop over here. Oops, that's not where I want to pop over. I want to pop over here, and we need this person. Let's put some friends. in there. Do, 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 do. So I'm Ooh, we loading. In. You all load and load and teleport uh, to the classrooms uh, and get ready oh. for your first lecture of the day. I walk, by, I, I walk by this thing right here and I say, Corey, this kind of looks like one of your people. Doesn't this kind of look like a turtle right here on the floor? Like this is the shell and these are the back feet and this is like the head and the front feet over here. I do not see it, Stick. You're crazy, as usual. But I do like you. I still so see it's a turtle. Is that a microaggression? I feel like Maybe. it might be. I wasn't insulting turtles. That thing literally looks like a turtle. What do you want me to say? That's fair. Does this look like a turtle chat? Does this look like yes. a turtle to you? Look, that's the shell, and that's Actually, the back it, legs, it looks, the front legs, like and this skinny. little head. Uh, you remember the Ninja Turtles? There was the two bag. Why well, remember the, the fucking Ninja Turtles? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're you're old. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. These people are young. They don't know. I remember the old Ninja Turtles. Young ends. Uh, Korig is going to movies? walk oh, through oh, and do a mimic check. Cartoons. Mimic check. I don't know where I am, uh, my character, but uh, we can assume I'm sitting next to Stick again because it's fun. Okay. You want to be next to Stick? There yes, you thank go. you. Hi, Stick. <laughs> Six running. I see where this Benny Hill routine is going, and I stay here. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. So, uh, in, in the head of the uh, classroom, uh, while you guys are mingling in. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's a funny squid? I think. What's so funny? 
they're they're are you watching their icons they're moving around the room in the back because oh, okay. it keeps running away <laughs> no actually i started running away I have, I, have, I have a cat blocking my view of things or i did yeah, now that now that Igor is starting to run away, Stick's uh, separation anxiety is kicking in, and now I'm the one chasing him. <laughs> Great. All right, all right, I'll behave. Uh, yeah, and if you don't know Squid, uh, when you select your uh, icon, if you use your arrows on your keyboard, oh, okay, you can move your character that way too. That's awesome. I promise not to abuse this. I might not be able to keep that promise. Why would you lie? Because it's fun to lie. Apparently the Observer account is focused on the Lorelei. When she moves her token, it follows wherever she goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the game is all about a Lorelei. We are just it's NPCs. Show. In her, she in her crazy illusion. And she's out. She's like, this car Bye. sucks. See ya. Bye. I walk into the void. Follow me, my children. Well, you know, it's the, she's the sexy one. You gotta follow the sexy one. You know what they say in D&D, &D, sex sells. It does. Oh, I forgot I forgot to put a, t a thought in. I have to put a thought in. Hold on. <laughs> I think you know. All y'all in the screen Hi. here. There, oh, gotta zoom out. There this you cat's go. so weird. The What's your cat doing? He's like up in my shit, so he's like right down here, and he's like, I mean, if I bring my face to him, he'll nuzzle it, but he wants my food that I just brought in here because I just yeah, got he does. there. Food's good. Yeah. Uh, speaking of food, I should check to see if my uh if my cat ate anymore. Come say hello. Say hello. Everyone likes to see you because you're so cute. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. did not pour it, did it? No. He's not impressed right now. He wants the food. Hey. Hey. I mean, he snuggles good like this, but he gets a he snuggles good sometimes. Most of the time. But mostly, um, he's just a pain in the butt. One o'clock in the morning the other morning. Yeah, he was. We had a field mouse get in through the deck, and uh, he was playing with it. Like, I think the thing died of a heart attack <laughs> when eventually it died. Because he just would bat it around if it would move. Delicious. So he's, he's special. I mean, I know Evie brings you presents, too. All the time. With me, he wasn't bringing it to me. He was just chasing it around. No, she huh. loves to feed me bunnies and birds and mice and squirrels and everything. Yeah. All right, so as you guys are settling in for the day uh, for your first class, uh, uh, the keyboard. again, you see a beautiful dryad uh, woman uh, leading the class. And she says, Ah, oh, welcome in back, everybody. Welcome in back to A is for Ankig. Today, we're moving into the letter B. Does anyone have a creature that starts with the letter B they'd like to learn about? Uh, B mimic. B <laughs> a mimic. A mimic. Uh, a you bimbo. see, uh, Rabina raises her hand, uh, and she says, "I I'd really like to learn about basilisks. I hear they're really dangerous. Um, hey. there's a rumor about them uh, being out in the swamps, maybe, and." I have a lab out there coming up for one of my extracurriculars, and I think it might be useful to know how to, like, deal with them. Keep them well-fed, and they will leave you alone. What do you guys do? Do I know anything about basilisks? You can try to roll a history check. I'm going to try and roll a history check. That'll learn me. That'll learn gonna, you real good. I'm going to I'm going to learn the history out of this basilisk shit right now. Coreg is uh, that is a 6. So I don't know shit about basilisks. Coreg got a 17. 
Uh, Stick thinks that a basilisk is kind of like a little corn snake. They're just. Can like, I can I make a dis can I can I make a deception check to like bullshit that I know about basilisks, even though I know that I don't know anything about them? Sure. And like just spout some bullshit. All right. What what do we? Oh mean? god, that's even worse. My deception okay. check is an eleven. So not only do I not know anything about it, but then me pretending to sound like I know about it just makes it sound even worse. Uh, I was hoping for a low roll. Did you? Roll I think it would have been check? funny. I did. I got a seventeen. Seventeen. I also got a seventeen. Seventeen. A <laughs> Squid's like stupid, stupid dice, making my character smart. When your stupid dice. I think it would have been funny if I thought a basilisk was a type of fish. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I got throat> a ten. I did not roll good. A Lorelei thinks that a basilisk is a type of fish, and she's happy to <laughs> tell you about it. I I am embarrassed because I feel like I would know what a basilisk is, but that's okay. It's kind of like a giant carp. <laughs> it's got really big, fat lips, like a like golden. Like grandma. I heard I heard a legend once of of a great queen who was really, really proud of her uh, many fashion ensembles. And her goal in life was to create the most beautiful fashion ensemble in the world. Um, and she spent years and years and years and years and years getting fabrics, getting thread, getting more fabrics, getting more thread, getting uh, jewels, getting to be sewn in, um, getting things fitted, getting things unfitted, getting things refitted, um, until she finally made it. And then she realized that her entire life has been in pursuit of this one, one goal. And then she forgot that she had no purpose in life beyond this. And then she started worrying about the threads decaying and the and the fabrics uh, breaking apart, et cetera, and so forth. And so she decided to immortalize her work by uh, standing in front of a basilisk and turning into the best statue of the most beautiful ensemble in the world. Very so in a good, Igor. Very good. That is a very accurate depiction about how beautiful yet Powerfully dangerous a basilisk can be. Bravo. Uh, Veralda is very impressed uh, at your recantation about hey. that story. <laughs> uh, yes, Korek, uh, you also have a pretty, pretty good idea about basilisks. Uh, you've encountered stories of them uh, in your little scraps of words that you could collect um, one of the things that you remember from your, your experiences is that basilisks often will thrive in arid, temperate, or tropical climates, and that they will typically lair in clay, in caves or other sheltered sites. More likely you're going to encounter them underground than you are above ground. These are facts. Yes. Basil facts. Basil facts. B -b Basil facts. Oh yes, and, and how about you, my my young green goblin friend? What do you know of the basilisk? Ah yes, well, I mean, I don't mean to uh, outshine my comrades here, but uh, me and my clan have run into basilisks many a time and i'd say we're pretty familiar with them that is amazing stick tell us more well they're so formidable obviously to take one down you need to be such a magnificent warrior a skilled spellcaster and uh Let's just say we we had a couple of those in our group, so we managed ourselves pretty well. Incredible. I'm I, I'm not quite following what you mean. What what spells or incantations do you think, young man, would be effective at disabling or recovering from a basilisk attack? Ah, yes. Well, I mean, 
Obviously, it's a matter of interpretation. Do you use spells that protect you against the Basilisk's primary rock? I look at Igor. It's a rock attack, right? It turns you into a rock. Rock attack. Or do you you prepare for the blunt force of such a fearsome creature and the physical damage that it can inflict upon upon you? And I sort of whisper at Igor, I'm like, I got nothing. Why are you being so quiet? Um, it's just up to interpretation, obviously, of what that warrior, chief, for the love of God, this is the one time you don't speak, say something. You know, what the particular adventure decides to do to... Well, I mean, obviously, there's all sorts of spells that could be used against a basilisk, I think, that are reflective and um, and interesting. But I don't know very much about goblin magic. Maybe they did, the terms don't completely uh, translate very well, and that would make it really hard to talk about. Yeah, it, it's, it's sort of, you know, there's a shorthand that's involved with it. We don't have the same names for things that you guys do, but... Yeah, what what Igor said. The, the so maybe the, maybe Professor, if you told us the kind of spells that you you would use, Igor can tell us if or not Igor. He's I'm Igor. Uh, Stick can tell us what translates into goblin language. It, it would be, and we can learn a little bit, bit of goblin as we learn about basilisks. I'll give you the goblin name. Absolutely, thank you. And okay, I'm gonna make a roll. Huh. Igor just uh, reaches down and gently grabs. Uh, uh, Igor. I did it too. See? Stick reaches down and grabs Igor's hand and gives a little pat and a squeeze and just gives a little look. Aww. Shut up! Make me... You're not... You're not there. You're... Where are you? You're up in... You're a row up like a nerd. Such a nerd. Sorry. We're we're in the... We're in the back because we're the cool kids causing trouble uh, as as you are saying that the you're the cool kids drinking causing, sprite zero drinking your your zero. your starry Ew. in the back seats all of it <laughs> you see the alkin uh student sitting at the front of the room that igor recognizes as the one you turned down uh in terms of the student mages of faith Group. Ah. Oh, hi. <laughs> kind of slowly Hello? deadpans <laughs> hears your insults and just looks down sheepishly <laughs> and sad Aww. poor person Aww. Shubadri oh, wow. is, uh, is uh, impacted in a negative way by your words Relationship point decrease. <laughs> and Rubina also glances in your direction, Stick. And she just does one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to wave at Shvadri because I like Shvadri. Uh, she looks at you and, and, and nods and, and, and says hello. Wait, Rubina or the teacher? Wait, Shubhadri, who's Shubhadri? the Alkin. The Alkin. Yeah, okay. So not not Rubina. I like the Alkin. I didn't end up joining the the Magicians of Faith, but not because I didn't like them. And I hope did, they realize that. Did Rubina look at me at all? Yes, Rubina looked at you dismissively and went, eh. Oh, that was Rubina. That was Rubina, yeah. yes. I, I die a little inside. <laughs> thought you already were dead inside. More. Uh... And then Rubina, um, you see her scrolling down on a sheet of paper, and she slides the note across the table to Alorlei. Oh, I'm gonna look at it. Obviously, with the teach, I'm gonna try to make sure the teacher doesn't see me looking at it, though. Mm, and sounds like mm, yeah. And I'll write you it would. in your journal because I okay. can. Ooh. Aha. Uh-huh. Note. From Rubina. What's it say? What's it say? Tell us all. Role playing is a myth. <laughs> Let me look. 
I wish I had your mother's spells. All of your mom's spells were like per persuasion spells and like, <laughs> hey, do what I tell you spells. Or you can make someone, she could make someone forget something that happened within six seconds. You said you put it in my, my, uh, diary. It's in there. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to type in my, in my journal what I'm going to type back. Hi. I love this. <laughs> Passing notes in class. Passing <laughs> notes in class. Uh, yeah, so Rabina sends that message uh, and is awaiting uh, your reply. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and Veralda goes, ah, yes. Yes, stone, that is precise. You are correct. Uh, stick, was it? Yes, that's your name. Yes, basilisks can turn you to stone. And who here knows how to deal with someone who's been turned to stone? What do we need to do? You smoke them. You get stoned with them. You uh, hear a chuckle uh, from the young goblin friend over here, or goblin um, orc friend, Urzmaktuk, who uh, Igor has met through the magical lab job doing genitorial hi. studies. Hi, uh, tiny repulsive. They're saying hi to you. <laughs> Is that like a direct clone of you? Because he looks just like you. Yes, that is. Uh, well, I mean, we don't oh, try to talk about the cloning. Jovi, there's a Jovi, Popper. Yeah. So just That's leave the door open so Jovi can come in and out, and you can turn Puppy! the light off. Puppy, Jovi, come back! Jovi, come back! Da -da 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 -da. Come here. Hey, want you say hi to the Puppy. Puppy? Hi. Igor is also waving to that guy he knows, the orc guy. Uh, he seems more interested in the book he's reading, uh, as he's okay. chuckling. <laughs> okay, so my note to, to Rubina is there. Oh, Jovi. Oh, I've missed Jovi. I miss seeing your puppy on your streams. Has her contract mm. renewed? I guess. I don't know. This is the first time she's done it in months. Usually I call her and she's like, go fuck yourself. So cute. Do I have to make a history check for the, uh, sorry, for the question of do I know? Because I know how to cure someone who's been turned into stone, but I don't know. If I think she's does. in there because there's a tiny repulsive in there. I think that's well, he's trying. Right. He's trying to go to sleep. So but he's he's like me. He can sleep through anything. Uh, yeah, you can try to roll another history check to see what you do about Petrify. Um, I'm sure it'll be as good as the first one. And Rubina did slide another note back to you, Lorelei. Oh, that is better. That's an, that's an 18. Oh, nice. 18. Yeah, yeah, you have a good guess. You have a good guess. What's your guess? Is it, uh, is it uh, that you have to... You have to use the blood of the basilisk to as an agent in a potion or in a sort of a salve to rub on the person. Uh, so Veralda... Uh, she... There's another tiny repulsive! I know, they're multiplying. <laughs> this is the the one that likes Doki Doki, right? Yeah, this is the troublemaker. Your brother's trying to go to sleep. What happened? You get this? Ah. Is that an old school Cartoon Network hoodie? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Easy. Easy. Did you bring the thing back to Raina? Did you bring the water bottle back? We'll do it tomorrow morning, okay? Yes. Okay, now close the door. Your brother's trying to get some sleep, okay? Thank you. You don't want to be loud. I'm not being super loud. Thank you. <laughs> Children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Veralda, oh, yeah. she takes a look at, at your response stick and she says, that's a very interesting response, young man. Not one I would expect of a mere first year academy student. The typical answer to that question is, of course, a greater restoration spell will solve any petrification. But some talented alchemists, yes, may make such a salve. 
That is very astute of you, young man. Very smart. Well, I, I can't take the credit myself. Let it be known that uh, while Greater Restoration is a valuable spell, mo go most goblins don't have access to it. So uh, we have to improvise where we can. And uh, we had one for a short time that knew how to make such a solve. You can imagine our disappointment when he himself was turned to stone once. Oh, the irony was not lost on us. That is, that is a great absolutely story. ironic for you to lose such a, a friend. Uh, and so she shares with you this picture. Um, so you know in the future uh, what a basilisk actually looks like should uh, you encounter one. She sends this uh, picture around to you. I always thought basilisks uh, look more like chickens. It Super is, cute. It is no mere well, maybe that's a cockatrice. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of a cockatrice. Ah, cockatrice. okay, yeah, that makes sense. What did I say? Cockatrice. Same difference. <laughs> cockatrice. Uh, yeah, so she shows what? you that. Both of them turn you to stone. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh, and so we're going to have you. Um, Never mind. Never mind. Uh, so she's like, oh, that is, uh, that is it for today's lesson. Uh, very good. Very good. Lots of great inquiries. Uh, tomorrow, please, uh, next, or maybe not tomorrow, but your next class, be prepared to learn about C. C is, of course, for cockatrice. C mimic. Oh. Oh, not C <laughs> mimic. We'll get to the M's. We'll get to the M's. Don't you worry. But C is oh my for God. cockatrice. Cord. Fighting at the bit when we get the L's, he's like, come on, come on, until we find out that the teacher was a mimic the whole time. I did write Rubina another note, by the way. Okay, let me take a look at your note. I wrote, I wrote some notes during class too, but not very many. <laughs> did I see any of these notes going back and forth? I didn't, I didn't send it off. Korag is not perception. taking written notes. Korag is making a sketch of the entire classroom to make sure that there's nothing different the next time he is here. Uh, that's a natural 20 for a 25. Oh yeah, you nice. see that they are gossiping through the written language over there. God damn it. Those girlies. Girls. All I really girls. want is girls. Because like in that. the morning it's girls. 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 And in the evening it's girls. 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 I like the way that they walk. Girls. And it's girls. I hear them talk. Girls. And I always make them smile. Girls. From White Castle to the now. Girls. Okay, we'll stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you guys uh are moving into your next class as we're walking out of this class i very not subtly uh saddle up to uh to lorelei and i say hey uh listen yeah no sorry about that whole piss thing funny roommates ha 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 what were you talking to rubina about what were you guys talking about what were you talking to rubina about why do you need to know are you gonna nothing no reason no, no reason. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I don't care. I'm not curious. Whatever. I'm just. You know. There's, there's lots of. Uh, you know. There's lots of mimics here, and maybe that thing about the egg. Like maybe some people know, and they're trying to come after us. You know, just like your safety, or something. Just like your your well being, your safety and well being, and well being and safety, and all that. It's plausible. Hey, say. Borg's gonna walk up and say, "Did I hear you say mimic? Where is it?" Show me. Well, I'm just saying that maybe Rubina's a mimic, and maybe these notes that uh, Lorelai is passing back and forth with Rubina will uh, reveal her mimic well, quality, so we said, can know. Dick said he saw a mimic underneath his desk. Maybe he should go and show you. I saw it, but then it went away, and it's in our next classroom, so we can go check there. After Lorelai tells us what uh, Rubina was talking about, was it one of us or something else completely different, or one of us? Mimics are no jokes, you guys. We could die. <laughs> Trust me, Korg, it was nothing about mimics. So you're the last person that I would trust. I stick. Well, I mean, why would it be about that? Why would she why would you know about that? Nobody would know about that. That's a secret that roommates 
deep because roommates can trust each other and roommates, you know, there's a bond and a bond of secrecy. And we, you know, we stole an egg together and we did lots of stuff that we can't tell anybody buddy about. And wouldn't it be a shame if these secrets got out? And I just, you know, there's certain secrets that roommates keep with each other and there's certain secrets that other people tell roommates that then roommates can tell their roommates because they don't keep secrets from each other, you know, especially if it's a secret about the roommate. Well, Stick, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Stick, I, I thought we were becoming really good friends and, you know, able to cohabitate really well together. But then you pissed on me this morning. And honestly, that was really not cool. And then what you said to Shubari in class, that was even more not cool. I don't know what your problem is today or who pissed in your lemonade or whatever, but I, I don't appreciate it. We all have dream of I don't think maybe that. Rubina doesn't either. Maybe you need to do some self-reflecting to maybe think about your actions and maybe the people you hurt with your actions unintentionally or intentionally. I give a pregnant pause. Wait, why is Professor Layton here? Oh my god, where is he? Oh god! <laughs> As you guys are talking about piss, uh, yes. This uh, reminds me of a puzzle. I, I can't. <laughs> so Rector, Come on, do, 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 my, do my math homework, guys. Uh, quietly I, and wait, silently. Wait, before the director comes up, I say one last thing to the Lorelei, and I'm just like, well, all that stuff that she just said to me, I was like, was that what was written in the note? Is that what she said? That she thought is that what because you wrote and told her what I did and then she said she didn't like it is that what happened? Like I'm still one hundred percent asking a Lorelai a million questions and completely unaware of Professor Layton sneaking dun, up behind us. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna say, oh hello, Professor Layton. How are you today? Ah oh, yes, my my wonderful newest students. Hello. Ah, I Jesus. hope you're having a you... fabulous day. Are you ready to learn a little bit more about meta ethics in magic today? Totally, for sure. Do you think uh, that the ethical concerns of magic extend to keeping secrets from your roommates that may or may not pertain to them, and even if it's in a non-magical context, Professor? So what I would say to that young man is it sounds like there's a magical solution for that problem. I'm listening. I think Does it involve that... getting pissed on in any way? Because if that's it, I want nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, that's what that smell is. And he looks at Stick's pants. <laughs> I mean, I, I did clean it up. Maybe I missed a spot or seven. Uh, here, let me let me help you, young man. And he, he helps clean up the, the, the little bits that you missed, the drizzle there Thank on you. the bottom. Thank you, uh, Professor. Drippage. Much better, much better. It's very um, kind of him. I think that, uh, as always, whenever there is secrets being kept, there are certainly magical means to figure them out, to scry, to spy. Sounds like uh, that would be a really excellent lesson. I should add. If to you aren't roster. part of the magical solution, you're part, you're part of, of the magical, magical precipice. Yes. Wise yeah. words. Uh. Yes, and he's like, all right, shall we? Shall we get our lesson started for the day? Oh no, Tom Berry's going for Kiso. Poor Kiso, poor daddy. He'll survive. Daddy, run. You can give him a calm. <laughs> okay. uh, I added more things to my journal. I, I just felt to shit, like shit. I just, I just like the idea of Igor is literally just walking around <laughs> writing all yeah. day, like nonstop. <laughs> you, Research... you, can look at, you can look at them. Research goal, goblin raiding rituals. Twelfth thought of the day. What if the frog that ate Korag eats a miniature Korag? Can we see the inside of a frog by wandering through its digestive tract? I have no thoughts. What if I run out? Can a basilisk petrify another basilisk? Can you create a perpetual perpetuification effect? What kind of magic language do goblins use? Is it a variation of Draconic? Pride is clearly very important to goblins, even when they're very tall. Fourteenth thought of the day. What is the friction level of a basilisk-caused rock? Uh, Alorelay and Stick are weirdly obs... What, was there weirdly a what? finished thought there? It, I, thought they, I thought it finished. Hold on. You gotta remember to save those thoughts, Igor. Yeah, I might have hit... Well, no, it should have saved. It's, uh, it's done. There's a whole sentence there. There it goes. Are weirdly oh, obsessed... 
with water sports. Show me. It's 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 a no term for, uh, repulsive for, for, for <laughs> peeing on each other. Uh, yes, that is uh, that is for the fun. log so far for for our friend. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, All right, so the director uh, begins to head into the classroom for the day. Hey. <sighs> All right, I'm is this the soccer. same classroom we were just in? Sure. No, I don't good. know. It's a biblioplex classroom, so it's one of those ones that you know changes to whatever you. It's do. like a mimic. Mimic. Don't worry. Do a mimic check. Mimic check. Don't say the M word. I like saying the M word. Uh, Director Triva is gonna see if he notices you doing a mimic check. I'm just like tapping every inanimate time, object with my axe. This time a Lorelei and a stick should sit together, because it'd be funny, so that they continue to argue about piss. Oh uh, yeah, it's not a, necessarily the argument so much as it's uh... just trying to find information. How come I can't go into the classroom? I think oh, they're going through the door. That's cool. Because it knows, because this, because Foundry knows where the walls are on the map. That's so cool. This yeah, is extra quirk. Hello. Hello. Oh. How are you we today? Put the P on the map. It wasn't me. No mimics so far. So it's a, it is a good day. <laughs> but you can never be too careful. Always remain vigilant, Igor. That's true. Uh, yes, joined in your class today, uh, you see one student you've met before. Uh, Kataras is a handsome uh, elven uh, man. Uh, you also see a new friend here in the back row you haven't met before, as well as a friend here you haven't met before. Oh, that guy's an elephant. Hello. That is a loxodon. I would like to walk up to a Lorelei and say... Uh, Lorelai, I'm genuinely sorry for what I did this morning. What I thought was a good-natured gesture of roommate companionship was clearly something that was interpreted negatively by you. I'm still learning non-goblin customs, and while I don't ask for your immediate forgiveness, I would appreciate your patience, and I would like to try and steal the note from her while I'm saying this to her. Uh... All right, uh, sleight of hand versus perception. Okay. <laughs> Nat 20, motherfucker. God fucking damn it. I'm going to get a Nat 20 what? today. This is going to be what's, what's your total? Oh, with my natural 20? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to see if I can even beat you. It's 21. Ooh, if I get a Nat 20, that's a 22. That would be awesome. Not that one. I would like to use the Tides of Chaos to roll again. You also have DM Advantage as well. I would like to use DM Advantage to roll again. Wait, I have Advantage? You have you, are you talking about my Inspiration session. or Advantage? Uh, that's what Inspiration does. Oh, well, there you go. Awesome. Come on, 1920, 1920, 1920. Thank <laughs> only an 11 all right uh yes alorla you notice that uh as stick is apologizing he's a little off this is not his typical demeanor usually he's a little more grumpy grump and he's being really sweet and really kind uh so you're already like getting red flags and you see him trying to dip his little hands into your diary how about new no? I'm going to remove his hand and be like, please do not touch my property. You've already offended me enough for the day. Don't try to out sneak a sneaky sneak. Play nice, kids. And then Fair. I am. Fair I am enough, to, I'm going to move away. next to the handsome dude here. I'm going to be like, hi, I'm a Lorelei. Nice to meet you. 
Uh, he says, oh, hello. We think we met like on the first day of classes. I'm Cataras. Hi, nice Cataras. It's so awesome to meet you. Hey. So are you cat or ass? Uh, it's <laughs> one word. Cataraz. Cat or ass. Yes, you know? one word. Cat or ass. Maybe you should go <laughs> eat a mimic or something. Like, oh my god. I <laughs> would if I could, but they are not tasty. <laughs> <laughs> but you know they really should be because they're made of wood. Not really. I have any thoughts? <laughs> uh, yeah. So the director uh, they imitate wood, but do not have the same tasty properties. It's mm. a little bit of time uh, giving you guys some instructions about where is my note here. In fact, I bet I could decipher a mimic based on taste. But I would not like to taste a mimic. But you would if you had to. He's like, I will do anything. I will do anything to stop and rid the world of mimic. Have you actually tasted a mimic? Well, I've only seen two that we can confirm as actual mimics. I still would you have like the opportunity to taste them. I, I think I still have a piece of the mimic because Igor collects the garbage. So. Can, can we have Tokoreg taste the Mimic and see what it tastes like so he can detect it later on? It'd be a new way to be able to tell Mimics from other things if you can lick it and know what it is. Are, are any of us say... scared that it would turn him into a Mimic? That somehow they reproduce by being consumed? I would rather not vomit in this wonderful classroom. Oh, uh, that's true. But if it <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> Uh, you uh, uh, are tuning into the lecture. Um, it's mostly a boring lecture again from the director about ethics and magic and, you know, thinking about, you know, being responsible. Uh, the director even himself is like, I know this isn't the greatest of classes. You guys came here to blow stuff up and make things happen. But, you know, we've been sued a few times by parents. And so we've got to teach this class about how to be ethical with your magic um so hopefully you guys don't fall asleep too hard uh, i'll be easy i'll be easy later on some of the exams but we've got to go over some of these things uh everybody roll for me let's do a wisdom saving throw oh no 16. Eighteen. I do it, Mister, Mister, Mister. Yeah, I forgot. I got an eleven. I'm doing really bad today. Not when it counts. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta do mine. Uh, you said saving throw. Yep, wisdom, wisdom. saving throw. Okay. A 14. A 14. Uh so with a with a 14 and people who rolled higher than a 14, you're you're kind of paying attention. Uh you're picking up what the professor's putting down. Lorele, you are really more interested in this beautiful elven elven dude who you're saying. I also next wrote to. another note to Robina. She's not Before in class, class with you. Yeah, but it's to hand off to her after class. Okay. <laughs> Stick sees this and fails a death saving throw. <laughs> very cute, very cute. Um, so you're you're more interested in in the smell of Cataris's hair. It is more alluring than the words coming from the director, and so you kind of miss. I don't care if his name is cat or ass. He smells good. Yeah. Does he smell like a cat or an ass? <laughs> it could be any. It could be both. And so the director's kind of taking a glance around the room and he's noticing that there are several people who are kind of zoned out, uh, not really paying attention. And so very, very quietly, uh, and he, he winks at the people who are paying attention. He says, all right, so for the ones that are still paying attention, I've got a little bonus lesson to pack inside oh. this class. Are you ready? 
Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, could I get a volunteer yes. to come to the front of the room, please? Four right, volunteers. Oh, oh there's Where'd so many go? choices. There's so many choices. Uh, let's have you come up, my twirtle friend. Uh, so Korag gets invited to the front of the classroom. And he says, Hey. I, I heard murmurs about uh, your interest in defeating mimics and finding them in the wild. And that's a very yes, it is a constant crusade. Yes, so I I don't have a tip I can give you on on getting those mimics to pop out, but I think what might be really useful in those times, young man, is the power of friendship. What are you suggesting that I make friends with the mimics? And so he pulls out his power wand. Our friendship. And he begins some kind of an incantation. And then he just screams out loud, Huzzah! And as he does that, uh, you're noticing, like, ooh, ah, oh, I feel so good. I feel so great. And, and you just start smiling. And just this positive oh, mood. God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Korak's oh, first that time. That Maybe it's Korak's first Korak's time. Smile. Oh my oh, god! No. That, plunge that face of yours kills me every time. <laughs> every time I've ever seen you do it. Uh, and, and, like, kind of... and like the how long have we known each other? Eleven years? Twelve? Korak can't breathe when he's smiling like that. He's like, I'm slowly dying. <laughs> Yeah, Help that's, me. A, that's a little terrifying. And she says, yeah. yes, this is, uh, this is a wonderful cheering aura that you could use with your friends to help you, lighten the mood. Can you take it off? Can you make him stop it? Can you take it off him now, please? Uh, unfortunately, I think the effect lasts until your next long rest. Oh my god! No, he's <laughs> got... I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> you're gonna have to do a screen cap or something. Plunge. <laughs> I can do uh, this all day. Have to make that an emote for you. I did. Yeah. Oh, perfect. You have it. It's there, or you froze it. Yeah. Let me check my. Yeah, I'm looking at Plunge's emotes right now. Oh yeah, he does. The did grin. you put it in the chat? No. Okay. okay. Let's see it. Oh, I forgot about the chat. There's a chat. There's oh, a oh, there it is. Oh, that's pretty good. That's terrible. Um, I, I talk to the teacher and I say, so are the effects of this enchantment uh, physically based to make him look like that? Or does it have a an actual effect in someone's well-being, state of mind? Well, I mean, as you can see, it... look how happy he looks. He's so no, happy. I am so happy. <laughs> okay. But Wait. I do not understand how this helps with mimics. Well, but I am very pleased. <laughs> yeah, I, do, I guess I just, I'm, I'm not seeing aside from some sort of prank or maybe creating a very spooky horror movie, what the the benefits of this would be maybe you would like to go into that a, a little bit well of course you can't you know they say you can't uh you know fight on an empty stomach right if you're out adventuring you've got to keep your tummy tum full <laughs> sounds like someone's got food you've got to do the same for the mind right you've got to be present you've got to have a great merry mood in order to best coordinate your efforts I think you, young man, could really benefit from the effects of a cheering aura in the future. Go ahead, hit me with it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, roll for me a constitution check, Stick. Okay. I, I really hope that something bad happens. A constitution check or a constitution saving throw? Saving throw. throw. Saving throw, sorry. That's okay. Come on, natural one. Uh, well, it's not a natural one, but it is a 10. 
Uh, you see Stick seems to be resisting the spell that Koreg was just uh, hit with, but as he Give continues into it, Stick. It's to resist, amazing. You, see, you see that left lip just <laughs> slowly raising above the right one. He begins to get caught in a half smiling face. It hurts. It hurts. Ah. Isn't it fantastic? Oh, there's so much joy and pain at the same time. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and that's the end of that class for the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good right, this, is the one that, this is the one that creeps out my kids. I think when I do this. Oh God, that is creepy. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. You really are a goblin. <laughs> All right. It was so scary. Joe, we walked out of the room. Yeah, she just she just saw it and she was like, "Nope." She was not about it. And now not she's back. About it. Now she's back. Jovi, Jovi, we love you. We have missed you, Jovi. <laughs> she just walked out again. <laughs> she's like, "Love this booty." <laughs> Love me, but love to watch me leave. Mm, I hate to watch That's you go. Cute pupper. I just want. She's to pretty snuggle. fucking cute. Yeah, she doesn't snuggle though. That's the thing. If you snuggle her, she's like, "Oh, you want to play?" And then she, she's not a lap dog at all. My mom's coon hound and my mom's bloodhound think they're lap dogs. I don't think it. Dogs. They're very yeah. dogs. That's what I want. That's all I want is a giant dog that's like I is pillow. <laughs> that's all. My German Shepherd was too growing up. Man. She'd let us like curl up on her. I wanted to get a Great Dane because they're great lap dogs, but uh, you know, logic. They're also gigantic. Yeah, that's half the fun. I mean, who doesn't want a dog that's as big as you? I don't think I want one in my lap. I, I like would, sit would sit in it. its lap. Uh, okay, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, but it's my mom's dogs thinks think they can sit in your lap. Yeah. So as uh, the class ends for the day, um, both Stick and Igor get pings on your wristbands. Uh, the oh, my wristband is pinging, Igor. Is it's... yours pinging? I'm going to ping. I'm going to look at my wristband. It is, uh, oh, it is me too. The time for you both to uh, report to your jobs. Ah, okay. Uh off to work. See you guys later. What a wonderful day in this academy prison. <laughs> Whereas uh, both Lorelei and uh, Koreg, uh, Koreg, it looks like in your schedule for this block, you are doing some studying. And Yay! Lorelei Yay! I love to study. Office hours. I have office hours? You have office hours. Which professor would you like to meet with today? Um, well, I did really bad in both of them. Uh, um, I'm going to go with the the one from earlier, because that was just, that was a fucking dumpster fire. And hopefully I'll pass Rubina on the way and pass the note to her, so that way Stick can stop trying to get my bag. I think I'll still do it. I will never stop trying. All right, so we're going to put you here, you here, okay, um, and Stick, you, uh, your job is at the library, is that correct? That's right, I'm organizing the stacks slash looking for more dirty books, okay. apparently. apparently. He needs all the porn books he can get. And then... For some reason that is still completely unclear to me. We're going to leave Igor there. Woo! Okay. And Korig, where are you studying? Um, Korig will go to the Biblioplex. Okay. Put you there. Beautiful. Okay. 
who would like to go first? I can go first. Okay. I can get it done the other way. So here we are. Lorelai's like, what's it going to take to pass this class? That's <laughs> Here we are, zooming in on the second floor. Uh, is there two of you? I don't know. Oh. Why are there two of me? Oh, God. Not anymore. And I'm moving both of them is what's weird. That oh, weird. no. Okay. You've, you've spoiled a major plot point, AOC. Mm -hmm. There's really two Lorelei's. It's the mimic. Ben. It's been the mimic the whole it's time. It's one of them's the mimic. God damn. <laughs> Can't take uh, any chances. We have to kill both of them. Yeah, oh, so no. Veralda Wait, is. Uh, save the journal. Veralda is here no. in uh, her office uh, with her office hours open. Uh, and she takes a look and she says, Ah, oh, yes. Uh, young lady, what can I do for you? Um, So I was hoping to kind of get some maybe. um one-on-one -on -one time to discuss class earlier because clearly i had some trouble because a basilisk is definitely not a fish and i said it was a fish it's just i i was really distracted in class this morning because of some things that happened in my dorm room um before i went in there can i um have sent a message stopped and sent a, a message to my parents one addressed to my mom one addressed to my dad about the boy in my dorm room who peed on me yeah yeah we'll say you did that at the uh the shop here at the Biblioplex. Mm -hmm. And your mom will be like, I remember when your father peed on me. <laughs> yes. yes. That's a real yes. fucking thing. Ew. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, uh, trust me, the, the conversations my sisters had with my mother the last 24 hours have been interesting. Oh dear. Because my sister's polyamorous. And she she's in the relationship with a couple and my parents are really against it. However, my parents are swingers and there's evidence of it on the Internet. <laughs> so it's like you mega hypocritical. So you did mention that. I was not in the room when it happened, but my little brother was. And he texted me a play by play. So half that. What? No uh, shame. We don't kink shame here. No, we don't not kink shame. It's just it's... Academy. <laughs> Never. It's, it's my mom and her hypocritical beliefs. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I'll ask one question, and then I promise I won't ask any more ever, which is a lie. Uh, uh, two guys, one girl, or two girls, one guy? So my sister is in a relationship with a husband and wife. Ah, mm. okay. It would have been cooler if it was two guys, but that's all right. That's okay. She's been like in that before too. She's been in a hey. relationship with two women. It's okay. That's dope. She's she's very open about her sexuality, and I don't shame her for it. Yep. So Veralda says, "Ah, yes, it was a little bit of a, a wild class this morning. Sometimes being the first one of the day can be a little challenging. Uh, I, I sense there might be some some tension in your life. What can you tell me about that, young lady?" Um, so one of my roommates, um, doesn't like sharing the bathroom in our dorm and he might've urinated all over our floor and me this morning. Um, and so I'm still a little upset about it. Um, and I've expressed to this person that I found it really hurtful and not funny. And, um, they kind of seem to think it's not a problem. So I'm just keeping my distance for the time being. It's just difficult when they're in your class. Uh, yes, to live in the same space and attend the same classes and join the same clubs, maybe. Yeah, it's really hard uh, to gain independence and grow Yeah, so it together. made it hard for me to focus on the subject this morning. And I was just wondering what I can do to kind of help bring my grade up. Because I know my grade is probably going to suffer for my performance this morning. And uh, I'm not sure if you know my mom and dad, but uh, Harold, Harold Havillard does not like when I don't do well. Um, Harold Havillard has a high standard of things. And uh, if he sees I'm failing, I don't, you know, I don't want him coming in here very mad at me or anyone else. 
for that matter. I don't, don't feel like he, I feel like he's not going to be a, a quite that thing. Well, the way I have painted Harold to be is he is Mr. Satan from South Park with a temple. Yeah, She's yeah. Let's roll a history part. check to see if she can recognize the name that you gave her. But mm -hmm. she's going to roll at disadvantage. Mm. That's fine. Harold it's fine if she doesn't have a you dad. said? Yes. No, that, that name does not ring a bell to me. Um, well, I, I think that it's a good thing that you reach out to your father. And for today's lecture, I think what I can give you, I'll give you some extra handouts uh, about the creature we learned today, uh, the basilisk. Uh, and so what that means uh, for you, Emmy, is you're going to get a bonus D4 on one of your homeworks for that class this week. Okay. Nice. Well, I for, know I need it because I did really bad. Hours. I don't think they care that much, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. I'm getting myself a note, so remember to do that. Okay. Uh, and she says, and the other thing I, I, I might recommend, um, we do have some, some guidance counselors here at the university. They might also be good to talk to, to uh, readjust through this experience. Uh, and hey. she, she writes down uh, their contact information and gives you their hours of when they're uh, around in their offices. Yes, I will take that student... and put it in my bag because I, I want to do that. Every student could benefit from a little bit of guidance, and I'm, I'm glad that you shared that with me, young lady. Uh, but here are the notes, and I think that will help you with your homework this week. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And then we'll transition back to the classroom. Mr. Classroom, give me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Igor, you uh, are here at the lab, uh, getting ready to help clean up uh, from the and and uh, happily sweep up and take scraps that I can use in my experiments. Yes. Uh, and you're again joined by Urs McTalk. Uh, Urs McTalk has also been a library research assistant, or not library, um, oh. uh, Prismari. It's pr no, what school are you? Quandrix. Quandrix, Quandrix Lab. Uh, Quandrix Lab assistant. Um, and he says, ah, yes. Uh, hello again, Igor. I hope uh, you're having a good day. It seems your I friends know. were struggling quite a bit in our class this morning. Uh, they had a whole thing. There was there there was awkwardness uh, back home. Some some people having boundary issues. You know how it is. And some people having mating uh, rituals that other people don't understand. I think, and possibly they don't understand themselves. It, it's just very confusing. Well, I for one, I don't have time to be thinking about mating. I'm here to study and learn. I don't understand who could have time for that nonsense. No, well, I mean, the reproductive act is actually kind of interesting in terms of what if you had a hive mind and thus um, if you reproduce, then you could add more to your hive mind. But then again, would that be really incestuous if you reproduced other members of your uh, of your hive mind through a mating with someone who is presumably also a member of your hive mind? Ah, but what Wouldn't if that the just hive... be masturbation? What if the hive mind could be backed up into a, another system and so you could have two hive minds with the same mind would that also be considered incestuous hmm. now if you if they if they uh, slept with each other and had and had a child which hive mind would they be part of the uh, one hive mind or the other hive mind would it be determined by the the carrier would it be determined by the uh like would it be the gametes that uh, that influence it or would it be some other uh like some other affiliation, would males be in the male group, females be in the female group? Would gender even apply in this particular case? And and if not, then how how do you how how would that relate to the way that the hive minds process? And as you're continuing to chat with Erzmik talk, he uh, he's I'm stopped. Cleaning. 
He stopped working. He stopped cleaning. He is just readily taking notes. He has sat down. He's reclining and he is chatting with you. Very interested in continuing. Well, while I am thought. sweeping up, because I'm I'm still collecting the stuff from my experiments. While you're sweeping, and he says, "Ah, but yes, imagine though the theory of this evolution, right, is that eventually, uh, everyone breaks the mold. There will come a point in time, I think, when perhaps a part of that hive mind may break from the hive, and then what is to become of the hive if one breaks off? And would they have control over the situation?" Would they become the master, or are they still part of the system? Uh, and he's scribbling away. Uh, Igor, what are you trying to collect today in the lab? Um, just whatever scraps, like from from whatever experiments they did. So if it's like liquid experiments, I'll be using like a sponge to swoop up uh, drops that I will then squeeze into little test tubes. And if it's uh, if they're more um active experiments involving solid objects, I'll take I'll be taking fragments. Um, I I'm working on a process of um affiliation when it comes to using these things in magic, so that their purpose and what they're connected to, there it's almost representational symbolism um, that I then want to try to incorporate into smaller spells and smaller purposes. Okay. Uh, so as an artificer, uh, you do have an ability called magical tinkering. And so at first level, you know how to spark magic into mundane objects. And so if you take mm -hmm. a look at that feature, can I get this? How do I, I don't know how to post it yep so basically a lot of these things i'm collecting i want to be able to use in that respect for that okay, okay. Yeah, or, or so to you... influence what i spark into a mundane object so you're getting all sorts of different ideas uh of some things that you might be able to do uh and and you're getting a little more complex you're getting a little more complex understanding evie what are you doing what are, what is getting that? your stream band is what she's doing <laughs> I'm in the middle of all that. I'm blocking it. Not enough. Not enough. No, it's it's no, worth uh, seeing, I, I think, seeing exactly I what's happening. In trouble. Yeah. I'm just saying. Hang on. Let me change it. There you go. Beautiful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Much better. Yeah. Uh. So you uh you are going to gain a relationship point. Oh. With Urzmiktak, he is very interested in learning about the hive mind concepts and what that is about. Uh, so much interested that he uh, he stopped doing his job just to listen to you talk. <laughs> it's okay. It's more stuff I can swoop up for my experiments, so I'm I'm reasonably happy. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna switch back over to the biblioplex, and we're gonna check in. <laughs> With Coreg, Coreg, what are you? Donde está en la biblioteca? What are you researching today? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> He's researching how to get this look off his face. <laughs> uh, Coreg is doing more research into uh, history of mimics and trying to find their origin and maybe find some kind of secret to finding them easier rather than having to tap every inanimate object in every room that he enters. So, Which he did do before he got here. You can take a lick them. Give me one second. Do a history check for me. What the heck was that? Ooh. Oh. Uh, 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 what? Okay. Sorry. 14. 14. <laughs> That thing is scary. <laughs> what thing? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, while you're doing your research, uh, again, some of the books uh, in the library are not the most organized or, or categorized, so it's a little difficult to get through. Um, but while you're scrolling through uh, some of these tomes about things to look out for, you find an entry very briefly mentioning a variant about a mimic and it is called a spitting mimic a spitting 
What is a spittic? A spitting mimic is larger than the average mimic. This type of mimic can be the size of an entire room. Oh dear. Oh That's god. Cool. I regret everything. Uh, and so while you're researching that and you're getting a little terrified of what might be out there, as you think about those thirsty chops, uh, maybe I, oh, I think I can do this. Hold on. Let's use the power of Foundry to inspire fear. <laughs> Let me see here. That's a relief. If I go to journal entry. If I go to your campaign <laughs> log. I go to items, add a page, spitting. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sort by date. It was saved. Did it not save it? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> did it show on your thing? I don't see anything. I didn't see anything, no. Um... to chat there we go oh god there you go what uh, in the shit is that have some dreams about your that. mom have some dreams about hey. that uh let me for a second here scroll over so there you go there's that beautiful beautiful image oh oh my there you go chat. is that a picture in the book that is a picture in the oh. book. <laughs> oh dear. Korg is going to slam the book shut and try to forget he ever researched that. Oh dear. That's um... I can never forget. <laughs> oh. No. It's about no. spitting mimics the size of rooms. Uh, the benefit, though, of doing the research is you're going to get a bonus D4 <laughs> to your homework roll for the magical creatures class. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll never sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> that was your study session, Cork. It was a terrifying reminder of all my hated the world. <laughs> I feel great, but I hated it. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, let me make sure I pick a different token here so everyone can see you. There we go. We've got stick. Oh, that's the wrong place. Hold on. I have so many windows. There we go. And there is stick in the stacks of the companion. Walking around. Walking around. Trying to solve mysteries. Stick, what are you? I'm, I'm, I'm. Half looking for these books, half organizing them, and a little too much of my mental Rolodex is like, I mean, they, come on, they didn't write anything about me. Why would they write anything about me? That's stupid. She doesn't even know me, but she wouldn't write anything. And why would she say anything to a Lorelei about it? It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why she would say anything. It's, there's, I'm just imagining it. Just in my head, I'm overthinking. It's fine. I'm over thinking, what if she did say something? What would she say? Why would I care? Why would I care what she says? Do I care what she says? Why would I even care what she says? She probably smells good. What are you talking about? That's a stupid thing to think. Just focus on your job and find books about girls who smell nice like her, probably. So that's just that kind of rolling insane dialogue where it's just you're trying not to think about a person that you're thinking about, but you can't stop thinking about them. What a story. What a story. While I look for more smut novels. Smut. All the smut. <laughs> While you look for Talk. more smut novels. 
Uh, While I'm talking to whatever, I'm saying like, like this is what you wanted, huh? I'm looking for the book that apparently you wanted me to get. So here I am looking for smut novels, thinking about a person that I can't get out of my mind, which has never happened to me before ever in my life. So this is awesome. Thanks. Thanks for putting me here. Appreciate it. Do, 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 do. I wish I was dead. Do, 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 do. So roll for Just... me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, e invest. Oh, yeah, my investigation is not very good. But that's not bad. That is a dirty 20. A dirty 20. Uh, it's a naughty 20. Up no, here naughty. On, the, on the third floor of the compendium, um, most things are pretty disorganized. It's pretty chaotic. Uh, you're seeing some, some mystery books that are up here, different ideas. Um, but as you're looking at a shelf, you see there's one set of novels that actually <laughs> seem to go in order. Except there's one book missing from the series. Oh. You see the titles Guest of Hope, Assistant with Red Hair, Neighbors nice. with a Hat, Deers of Love, Queens and Secret Admirers, Heart Throbs and Boyfriends, Will of Devotion, and Walking Lust. But there seems to be one space between the second and third novel that is empty. Just give me a second. Let me add that to your smut list here. So I'm just taking all of these books and throwing them in the bag of holding, I suppose. Can I extrapolate anything from the books about what the missing book is? Do I get any intuition or any when I pick them up or start to peruse them? It seems like inside the first novel, uh, there are these um, handwritten notes. Right in the margin of the book. And the notes seem to be writing about almost like stage directions. It's very interesting. You see like, you know, some gravitas about, you know, where someone would enter a stage and you see a description of you know, what a costume might look like for part of the story. Um, but they're just like kind of haphazardly scribbled throughout the entire book. Mm, I don't like this. And it's just in this one book. Mm -hmm. I, I'm talking to myself or to anyone. I'm like, really? You were directing your own pornographic feature. That's what this was. You wanted to turn these smuts into some kind of stage play. Is that what you kinky fuck wizards are into? Watching people get it on while you illuminate them with dancing lights and other bullshit? Well, um, I don't know. I can't see what the missing one is. I guess I just slowly start putting the books in the bag of holding and uh, continue on with the boring and arduous task of reading through the shelves and seeing if there was no clue in there about what the missing book in the series would be called. Just trying to figure out how to link this in the chat so you can get access to it. Uh, so it is in your log, um, but there is a link there to the smut that you've discovered so far. Fantastic. It's becoming quite the list. 
Leather Dreams by Joseph Wizaya, all nude version of My Fair Lady, a burlesque show play about romance and adventure in space with drag queens. Those are the ones I haven't found. Those like, you guys uh, came up with that. You guys came up with that. Uh, I think collaboratively. Uh, that was yeah. something that uh, was referencing Alorle's parents' time at the university. <laughs> of course. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. I uh, can I? Is there anything about the handwriting that is significant or interesting? Uh, the calligraphy, sort of what it's written in. Does it just look like somebody used a basic ass quill pen? Does it look fancy? Does it look like it was just done with some graphite or chalk? It's a little smudgy. It's a little smudgy, uh, almost as if someone was kind of racing uh, to jot down these notes. They seem very frantically excited. Um, but as you take a closer look, you see that there's at least two two pens that wrote in these margins. You see oh. one that's kind of like a swafty overflow of different ideas, and then you see some more precise, detailed notes, uh, almost putting it together. Uh... Does one look uh, remarkably more delicate than the other? For sure. For sure. Great. <laughs> Great. So I Lorelei's stumbled parents. upon a Lorelai's parents' sex fantasies that they are now staging for each other to act out. Why yep. are you in? I'm, I'm yelling at nobody in particular. I'm just like, why are you in my brain? Why? Are you in my brain? <laughs> and uh, I, I, I text, I send a message to a Lorelei and I say, congratulations, me peeing in front of you might not be the most random thing that I have to uh, ask you about today, period. Uh, you don't happen to have any copies or examples of your parents' handwriting, do you? Emphatic question mark times three. Send. And I go back to work. Uh, Alora, he doesn't know my mother sent me a letter like a couple days ago, right? I don't know anything. No. Okay. As you're heading, uh, Lorelei, out of uh, your session with uh, Veralda. <laughs> Uh, you do get that ping from Stick. I look at it, and I am still really mad. Um, Lorelai is the kind to hold a grudge if, if she, you know, she feels wronged in any way, just like I have a massive grudge against my mom for sending me here. Um, I mean, I'm I'm also confused as to why why he needs examples of my parents writing um so Just curious um so i'm gonna respond back with do i even want to know why you need this question mark i reply back your parents might be inside my head making me collect old smut novels that they may or may not have acted out in a weird sexual way period <laughs> Is that specific enough for you? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> um, I'm going to text back of welcome to my life. If you are looking for more of the same smut you were looking for, my mother has it all in her personal library at home in wherever <laughs> the hell I'm from. You know, may maybe... Oh wait, I, I I can't suggest that. Never yeah, this mind. isn't this isn't a group chat. Yeah, don't worry. We'll put you on the we'll put you on the group text in a second. I don't care what your parents do in their free time, comma, 
but if they're what's turning me into a vegetable sometimes and making me grab these books for reasons that are still unclear to me or to be their little goblin sex toy, comma, that is, quote, not cool, all caps, end quote. <laughs> um, I'm going to respond with, I didn't need to know that my parents turn you on. I know too much about them as is. I do not need to know more. There is no arousal happening in that direction, exclamation <laughs> point, stern face. All that I am experiencing right now is confusion, comma, and I need your help because if they are behind this, then you have my full support not only to break out of this school, comma, but then to get revenge upon them for whatever it is they are doing to you and also me, exclamation point, serious face. Send. Uh, all right. Hmm. Shaking my head here. In my yeah, last question, question mark. Poll, so the poll is up. A or B? How do you Ooh. know it? Do we get the, the answer? <laughs> Easy vote. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Fuck you and your polls. <laughs> well, I refuse to participate in your, your loaded we poll. All exist. We all exist here because some, some daddy got their poll fucked. So we we're all a result of pole fucking. So I'm the only test tube baby who produces asexually. Is that that's just me? Okay, fine. Is that how you made all your clones? That's why they're clones. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's why it's called a clone. Look, we don't want to talk Daddy. about how aliens mate. We don't need to. We don't need to deal with that. Yeah. Oh, no, we've all seen species too. That's gross. Yep. I didn't think that they needed, like, did they really need to kill her by choking her to death with an alien penis? Like, I think that was a bit much. I'm just saying. For about 117 it... votes for hashtag daddy. Let's go. You know what? Your poll is flawed. I thought oh, we had 117 yeah, votes. 30 it, someone it, votes. It, oh, it, are it, people multi voting? It's just, just Emmy voting yeah. over and over again. Uh, well, I, you know, I do have 23,000 uh, tadpoles. I could vote more, too. Good Lord. You can also use the text-to-speech when the text-to-speech is available. Yeah, could. Yeah, but I don't I don't have as much fun making that thing say dirty things like as you do. So I got to think of some other way to spend my uh, hard-earned money. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That I earned by lurking and probably forget. Oh, my hard earned lurking money. Yep. All right. Uh, is, is there anything else to that uh, text message conversation? I, my last message that I sent to Emmy was like, Did you get my last message? Because she didn't respond. <laughs> What was the message about my parents turning you on? It was me. It was basically me saying they didn't turn me on. This is a one directional thing. Get them out of my head and I'll help you get whatever revenge on them you want to get on them for sending you to this godforsaken hellhole in the first place. But if they're inside my head making me do the crazy things that I'm doing, then that is unacceptable. Hmm. <laughs> and then did you get my last message? Question mark. I don't know if this wristband is working right. Sometimes it shows dots when you're typing, and sometimes it doesn't. Send. Effector, okay, are you Wilmer. still clicking stuff there? Because you have unlimited I points. I can't click more than once. It let me only do it once. It's not me. Aw. <laughs> Thank you for well, the Well, Daddy <laughs> is at 69% now. and 402 votes. For daddy. Oh, oh no, stop voting for daddy. They have a 69%. Oh, there you go. There you you go. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it at 69%. No, stop it. You ruined it, daddy voters. It was at 420 votes, but I know, but now it's got oh, it's going in the wrong direction. I gotta vote Can't for check. A now. Uh, got it. And check. And <laughs> um there we go. Why did you do that? I got it to 69%. <laughs>
No, you you banned the Pokemon community game and you banned Magashisama. What? And... Why did you ban Magashisama in the Pokemon hey, game? Wait, I don't, uh, oh, that was me clicking. I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Maga, we are trying to get you unpanned. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see if I can. There we go. I was, I was clicking. I was clicking and the mouse moved while I was clicking. Can I just do I wasn't okay, looking where my mouse was clicking on. This game is falling there to pieces. You now you'll. I, I don't know what you have to do, but I know I'll have to do it too for for the Pokemon community game and Magashi Sama to be in my chat again because we share ban info. I can never remember. Sorry, Magashi. It was my mouse. <laughs> it was an accident. I was just trying to vote for Daddy. <laughs> Poor Magashi Shama being such a last <laughs> vote. Uh, precious seconds remain. And Daddy wins with five hundred and six votes. Apparently, I tried to ban a vector too. <laughs> you can't yes, ban him on his own stream, silly. Cannot ban. I mean, I guess you can Daddy try. wins with 506 <laughs> votes. Which means I lose. And in second place is A, and in third place, B. Plunge <laughs> contributed 359 channel points. See, it rats his ass out at the end. <laughs> it does. Nice. Very nice. All right, so the text messaging is going on, uh, and uh, you are finishing your shift. Uh, you finished studying, uh, and Lorelei mm -hmm. is done uh, with office hours. We need to head back here because we've got who is in this thing? You're in this thing. Who else is in this thing? Hold on, I can't remember. Let me look at my map of relationships because there's so many of them. Okay, okay, that's what I need. Okay. Do 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 do. Did I never pull his token out? Well, that's rude of me. How could I do not do that? Rude. 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 Very rude. Hey, rude. Plunge, you'll have to teach me how to make it so somebody can chat in your stream again when they can't chat because of a shared ban. I know you've done it before. Um, slash unban. Well, yeah, so unbanned. for I mean for like shared ban info. They'll be oh, I don't know. chatters. Thought you did it on mine when Ghost couldn't talk because of the accidental ban. Or on effectors when I, Ghost couldn't talk. I think I just did slash on ban. Oh, okay. Ah. We go. So uh you all are getting ready uh to meet with your favorite club. Oh and yeah. The troublemaker club. Hey. Society. Yeah. They're 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 over here. There and there. I knew that. <laughs> uh, Quintilius sees Stick arrive uh, and uh, says, Ah, welcome uh, welcome back to the club, Stick. Good to have you in. Good to have you in. Ah, Korak, yes. Good to see you, Hello Quintilius. Again. What are we robbing today? Oh, there's no robberies today. It's a much more That's chill day. That's what you said yesterday. The day before yesterday, we were robbing things. That was yesterday. That was literally yesterday. Yes, that's what I said. You said the day before yesterday. I think I think we got we talked about it the day before yesterday, and then we robbed things the following day, didn't we? I thought we were got you stealing before. things without letting me know. We could have been stealing things this whole time. I thought I thought we got some sleep in between. What so else have you stolen, Igor? You might be right. You might be right. I'll hold up my bag of junk. I stole this. Nice. Uh, Drazomir takes a look at your bag and goes, well done. Well done. Those will be very handy uh, trinkets and baubles for you, I'm sure. 
Uh, Quintilius looks around and says, Welcome back, everyone, to the Dead Language Society. Uh, as always, it's a wonderful time to have. Uh, I have a little bit of an update. I've been told that Dr. Cass, after uh, having us uh, resolve the situation uh, that you all participated in, has been reinstated to her role uh, back in the field for the Lowell Hold Academy. Yay! Quite amazing. Quite amazing. We helped. Yes, you, you all did such a wonderful job. Uh, and Alorle, I gotta say, I'm still impressed with the fit that you put together. That was just gorgeous. Absolutely I'm very gorgeous. good at that. Uh, and Stick, I heard you did a wonderful performance uh, as well. Might you uh, regale us with how your experience was in the museum heist? Berg did try to uh, seduce some guards and failed at it. That's pretty funny. We went in with no preparation, no equipment, no support, almost got caught, attacked by a mimic, and escaped by the skin of our teeth. Forgive me if I'm not here wanting to sit around with a cup of hot cocoa and talk about the good times while an egg almost erupted and destroyed the world. Can we talk about dead languages, please? As you say that, uh, Drasimir comes from around the corner with a tray full of delicious hot cocos and God marshmallows. And hey. he just looks at Stick with a sad face on his, his visage. Like, I, uh, I, I see him coming around the corner and I dejectedly walk and just, uh... <laughs> It's good. It's good cocoa. At least I'll make sure. I'll make sure to hand stick a mug when I take he, mine. He hands out some of these hot cocos to you as you get hey. together for your meeting for the day. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy to have hot cocoa. Um, oh, I keep says, forgetting. I'm happy. I'm like, I'm not in the mood. Probably wore off by now. No, it's uh, still a long uh, rest. Quintilius, no, it's it's still a long rest. So Quintilius uh, oh. takes a look at at Stick's half smiling visage, and Koreg's very enthusiastic smile, and he's like, "You guys make my day. I am so glad you're enjoying your time. It's only the first week of classes, and you're already so enjoyable. It's it's really amazing." Um, so. Yes, we are here to talk about dead languages, but I have a friend who's going to be joining us very shortly, and I, I don't know if any of you have met him. Uh, he goes by Rampart. He's a really wonderful student, uh, and, and he's been running the Dragon's Guard Historical Society meetings. I don't think that we've had one yet. Well, we did yesterday, but I think you guys were a little preoccupied. Uh, with the heist saving the academy and all. So I don't think you had a chance to go attend. And so Rampart said he would be coming uh, to our meeting today to talk a little bit about the Dragon's Guard Historical Society. Um, would well, anybody be interested? Do any have any questions that they'd like to prepare for Rampart? I mean, I always have questions, but I don't know if they're relevant to what he's presenting. Oreg is just grinning ear to ear, but also checking the walls now to make sure this room is not a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> the trauma is real. The trauma uh, is does real. the ramp? I'm trying to remember. Is that a club I'm a part of? The Dragonborn Society? I'm trying to remember if that's part of something that I'm in. It is a club that both Stick and who else joined it? Was it I think Plunge? I'm in it. I think Koreg is in it. Yeah. Yes, Koreg. Is there any is there any tingles going on? Because I didn't sign up for that willingly. I was compelled to do it. Am I feeling any compulsions, or is there any subject that I otherwise inclined to ask about when he says, are there any questions, or am I still too busy trying not to enjoy the delicious smell of this hot chocolate that's in my hand and pretending that I don't like it. I think the little column A, little column B. Uh, okay. 
even though uh, it's uncomfortable to you to be in this situation with your colleagues, um, it does feel welcoming. It feels like you're uh, in the right place. And that's uncomfortable for you. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Uh, now, I'm sure we'll have plenty of, I'm sure we'll have plenty of questions uh, when they arrive, but uh, right now we're just having such a great time enjoying this hot coffee. Hot coffee. Uh, Rampart uh, enters the room and glances over at Quintilius. He says, ah, oh, yes. Hello, Quintilius. I am ready to indoctrinate. I mean teach you all about the wondrous Dragon Guard Historical Society. Hello, hello, I am Bidum, uh, but you can call me Rampart. It's a little easier to pronounce. Hello, hello. How's everyone Hi. doing this fine evening? I mean, look at us. We're growing great. Can How you, are you? Can you roll uh, an intimidation check for me? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh god, that's a 21. Rampart looks over at Stick. Uh his smile decreases a few degrees as he just notices this grimacing goblin half smiling person next to him and he's like, "Well, Anyway, I'm glad you're happy to have me here. But yes, I, I'm here to teach you about the wonders of the Dragon's Guard Society. Who here knows what the Dragon Guards are? Are they guard dragons or are they dragons who happen to be guards? Oh, that's a great question. Koreg, was it not? I am Koreg. I see you're, you're <laughs> prancing about the room, sir. What are you looking for? Checking for mimics and gigantic mimics and any other mimic. Gigantic All mimics. mimics? What do you mean gigantic mimics? Uh what are they called? Slurping mimics? Slither mimics? Slurping Spit, mimics. Spitting mimics? Spitting mimics. Spitting yes. mimics. <laughs> I have mean. just discovered something that I wish I had never known about, and it is now my white whale. <laughs> God, we're gonna fight does a spitting minute. Moby, does Moby Dick live in, exist in this universe? He does now. Uh, I mean, okay. maybe I'm maybe it's uh, maybe it's an expression that trans. Uh, maybe there's like a version of Moby Dick in this universe. Well, <laughs> Moby Dick is not. Like it's not the. It's it's actually one of the erotic novels that I'm looking for, and it's completely unrelated <laughs> to its context in this world. Oh, I, yes. I think there. I think someone does have sex with a white whale in that book. Uh, so Probably would Rampart... make more sense if they had sex with a black whale, but that's just me. Rampart looks to Drazimir and uh, and says, Drazimir, I know you know what the Ra Dragon's Guard is. Why don't you share it with our friends? Uh, and you see Drazimir is always shy. He's always shy. Um, he's over here. Um, and uh, he says, well, the Dragon's Guard, they're a very wonderful elite group of graduates of the academy that are handpicked by the very founders themselves who work to secure this plane and to aid everyone here uh, in completing their research uh, depending on you know what kind of job they're assigned really changes what they do but they're a bit like planar border control you know you know, they, they're, they're researchers, they're diplomats, they're really cool. Uh, and he seems really excited uh, to be talking about the Dragon's Guard uh, as a collective. Uh, Rampart's like, yes, yes, that's true, that's true. Yes, the Dragon's Guard, they're amazing. They're powerful, they're knowledgeable, and just they look cool. They look cool. Do any of you have a class coming up with one of the... The members of the Dragon's Guard? I have it coming up tomorrow. I'm super excited. Her name, I think, is oh. Liliana? Liliana, um, oh, what is that name? Liliana, Liana Flametongue, yes! 
Liana Flame Tug, she is teaching a special class, and I can't wait to attend it tomorrow. Is she actually I, a dragon? With that name, she sounds like she could be a dragon. I, I sort of nudge up to Igor and sort of tap whisper while I'm nodding and be like, these guys are really horny for dragons, huh? You really want to fuck dragons, yes. I mean, it's kind of like I didn't know it was their thing. Maybe I should reconsider my uh, membership in their club. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you might you might have some advantages if you have sexual relations with a dragon. I, I, mean, I, honestly, I, I honestly can't think of any right now. Well, you would have a girlfriend or boyfriend that could burn all of your enemies alive, and you'd always be able to escape the academy because they they could fly away with you. Yes, dragon guard officers. They they report, you know, as as messengers of the very founder dragons themselves. Drasimir says, um, you know, the school itself has been founded by a number of them, and uh, of course. Director Triva is the voice of the founders here at the Academy. Uh, Quintilius uh, ups one of his eyebrows, uh, just like Alorlay seems to be doing, uh, and says, Director Triva, do you mean that guy who just bored us to death today about making people smile and how that's the best thing to do to fight bad guys and he takes a look at both <laughs> Korik and Stick and rolls his Why eyes. Why is he working so far? I wasn't bored. I was just traumatized. That guy seems like a fool to me. I mean I don't know. You guys can form your own opinions but I'm not a fan. Not my favorite professor at all. I'm not sure if I can right now. He's got a point. <laughs> Plunge. <laughs> Stop! That's you should make that terrifying. a channel point redeem plunge to do ah, that face. Yeah. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> That's terrifying. You, you, you could call it merciless happy time. Yeah, and people oh, won't know what it is. Don't put a description on it and see how many people redeem it. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, merciless happy time? What's that? Oh, everybody, it's time to get happy. Yes, it is my hope and dream someday when I graduate that I too maybe get selected as a member of the Dragon's Guard. Uh, and you hear uh, Rampart uh, is talking about hyping up the organization and how cool da -da -da. he thinks they are. Um, da -da -da. I feel like there's a fanfare in the background every time they talk. Uh, so I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm saying aloud to myself, but kind of not like super loud, but half mumbling. So maybe like Igor and Lorelai would hear me. I'm like, I have no idea why M why a Lorelai's parents want me to be a part of this stupid fucking club. This makes no sense. It's all bullshit. But I don't like it. It just pisses me off. And I don't want to drink the cocoa. I don't know it smells really good. Drink the cocoa. Do it, do it as a fuck you to everybody. I can't drink anything with my mouth stuck like that. Yes. Um, so Rampart uh, says, yes, sometimes, you know, as a member of the Dragon Guard Historical Society, I get some secret missions uh, that the Dragon's Guard are looking for students to complete. And I think this group and my group could really work together to stand out as essential members of the class of the academy here but they want us to steal something else <laughs> i haven't been asked to steal anything mm. yet i think that so far is uh the language society's time. job but we'll see what the dragons god require but <laughs> i just wanted to say hello and introduce myself and you know on behalf of the historical society i thank you for your work yesterday in safeguarding the academy. Without your help, I uh, can only imagine what would have happened here. Yes, we can only dream about what the possibilities would have been. <laughs> All right, do you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to ask of the group or Rampart? 
Nope. I start removing tomes from the bag of holding, the smut titles, <laughs> and I say, Hey, Kyle, may I anything for you? Any sort of special meaning? Maybe they were performed in the past by students or held some sort of significance that I may not be aware of. I may or may not be possessed by her parents, and there may be we do some weird shit which involves signing these books. And I was also compelled to join your little dragon club for some reason. So, you got, you got anything for me? Uh, Quintilius takes a look at the collection, uh, and his response is, oh my, that looks disgusting. Um, my thoughts are exactly. Should you have those out in public? That just doesn't seem appropriate. Uh, and Drasimir, uh, quietly puts a book up to his face. You can see how red his cheeks are. Uh, and Rampart uh, takes a look and says, oh, that's an interesting collection you've got there. What does that one say? Wait, walking lust? What in the world? Oh my goodness. Well, uh, it's a real page turner. It looks like it. It almost looks like it might belong in the, the aisles of uh, uh, books with Joseph Waziah. <laughs> Why did you say? You know, you know, they're just so awful. Like that leather dream the, the, book. The Joseph guy? <laughs> Who, who's that? Oh, Where? Joseph Bozaya. He was a he was a he was a student here at the academy, and uh, he was always trying to one up his next production of the school festival. Uh, his masterpiece book, The Leather Dreams, is very. Notorious amongst its fans. You and have you a copy see of Drasimir of hiding his face even harder uh, beneath his book. Even harder, Daddy. Harder. <laughs> uh, okay, this is going to be weird, but that kind of came up in a dream. A dream? Uh, Can you? What do you mean? <laughs> it's a leather book that you mentioned. Leather bound, Daddy. Is, is there is there a copy of it somewhere that um, Stick could read? Because I feel like that's a lot of coincidences, coincidences being pulled together in one. Well, the thing is about Leather Dreams is it was so awful, every single copy was burned and destroyed uh, shortly after its production that I'm aware of. Um, you know, maybe uh, you could go back in time uh, or something. That's uh, something that's could happen, hey, I think, at the academy. Hey, every copy. Come on. As far as I every know. Every copy. There's not one copy out there somebody's just um, sitting on. A uh, Lorelei. I hate to ask, but do you think your parents would know something about this? Um, I mean... I mean, uh, I, I'm just saying we all seem to have really weird dreams about your parents. I, for one, am anxious to have a very in-depth conversation with your parents. Why does everyone always want to talk with my to your life? parents? Because I think we are having sex, and it's a little weird. I mean... I don't even want to know how tieflings have sex. Sorry. It's like normal sex, but just hornier. That's all. So many tales, so many orifices. It was just really, really... Uh, after, after a while, you just think, don't you get tired? Then after a while after that, you're just like, I goodness that thing is flexible and after a while after that you're like really i guess a prehensile tail would be useful in other contexts but i i am really hoping to watch it off first and after that <laughs> igor you think about this way too much i saw way too much yeah <laughs> um i'm going to um say it's possible 
my parents might know some of the history because you know this they they are very proud alumni from here but i don't know how much they would actually be willing to share with me let's see if they have copy of the fuck i got every Wait, other they book have in this alley of the fuck is that what you said a copy of the Rook. The the folly of the, the the rook. I see what you're doing, and despite my happy appearance, I uh I don't believe it. Hey, hey, stick! You look like you really uh need to use the facilities, and I don't think you need to have another issue like you did on me this morning. Maybe you should just go use the the washroom here in the school before potentially making a mess on yourself again today. Do we have anything else after this club visit, AOC? Uh, just your homework rolls. <laughs> He's going to pee on her again. <laughs> I'm going to roll for it. <laughs> oh, no. oh you're, you're very lucky. I mean, you're uh, very lucky. Yeah. I, I realized that I had misjudged how it interacts with each other. Thank on a long history of not having real relationships with non government While you might not have been amused by the little kid at Texas morning, I now see that while it is a common prank among my people, say your people, is not them. And I would like to apologize. That is all. And I walk away. Okay. okay. Uh, Rampart okay, says, okay, maybe he okay, just I'm... needs to walk it off. That might help him. Mm. He okay, seems I'm... a little tired. Can I send a text? I think to... a teacher did something to him earlier, and that's why he's like that. Can I send a text to Alora Alora's parents while they're talking? Because I feel like I, I would have think, access to that. I don't they think don't they would have my parents' phone. Like, well, they don't get texts, right? Alumni. You've been sending letters. Been letters, yeah. Oh, no, but see, I I can uh, I can hack into the alumni files and get their contact information, and then I can. Can you? They you didn't try. have wristbands when they were students. Yeah, they had dinosaurs that would chisel sure messages. Got, I'm sure the academy it's has a way to them. Sounds like a side mission for Igor to try and hack alumni. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Can I do it? Can I do it? What do I roll? That sounds like While they're talking. I th I think. Uh, AOC is trying to delicately insinuate that it might be a more time-intensive process than just a single roll of the dice. It's okay, I can start it. While you guys are bitching at each other, I'll start the rolls. <laughs> I will I will add that to my docket for another adventure. <laughs> okay. Um, Squid's like, I was in France, man. I need to catch up. I gotta tinker some shit. I haven't tinkered in, in like two weeks. It's, uh... I, I, it's making me more more enthusiastic about tinkering than uh, than stick is about tinkling. I, I need it very good. That's very good. Uh, that, that, that. Hey, Dungeons uh, so and Dragons and yeah. Rampart are both like, all right. Well, I appreciate everyone meeting. Uh, another productive meeting as always. I look forward to next. What do you mean week productive? And, Nothing happened. Uh, I'm saying what? that is obsessive, not stick. Uh, we will we will reconvene. Uh, maybe we'll have another secret mission. I can't uh, have my best club members out all year long, right? We've got to reserve our energy. Um, but uh, thank you all for joining this fabulous meeting. And thank you again, Rampart, for sharing about the Dragon's Guard Historical Society. I think a collaboration between our two organizations is going to be superbly 
be beneficial for both of us. Thank uh, you, yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right. And with that, uh, we are going to move back to our dorm. Whoop. Who, who's ready to do the homework together? Hey, well, homework. I'm ready. Yeah, we we are going to do our rolls. Let me pull up my grade book. And uh, we're studying, away. buddies. Can we roll with the fast hat? You get a 1d4 for your first class, right? I do, yeah. For G101, Korig, you're going to um, get a flat 1d4 no. for your um, trauma in the library. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for your nightmare fuel worth it yeah uh, I don't think we've used any of our student die I don't know if any of them are too relevant um, so I've got those plugged uh, up on my screen here can't seem to walk around inside the building yes oh, now no. you're stuck outside forever yeah it's very cool you can get in through yeah, your window get back in. Yeah, but you I gotta mean, use the, the thing is you... I can't leave my door oh no I can now Okay. It's because yeah, the good. door was closed. You have to click the door to open it. Oh, I see. I see. That's, that's absurd and wonderful. Okay, thank you. you can also, in my room I can also I can lock them door. on you and trap you. Yep. That's amazing. I can also just go like this and say, hey, hey there's now an invisible wall, and now Stick can't get out of that room. No. Well, I'm stuck with the room forever. Yep. Oh, I am trapped. I'm trapped. Bum, 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 stick. Bum, bum. stick. We're going to be friends forever. No, forever. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a window or something. I'm like a playing... horror movie, very slowly following you. I was thinking it more of like Pac Man. Pac-Man would require you to to uh, get um to eat something, and then you'd be chasing me for a while. Oh no, you turn blue. I'm running away. Yeah, I'm in the void. Woo, void. In the void. Igor is Igor is gone far astray. Too many experiments with the bag of holding and teleportation and. This is what happens. Just Igor's check for right. mimics while you're out there. <laughs> Make sure they the frogs haven't turned into monsters. Check for mimics. Void. Oh, God. Void mimics. Make sure to remember to ask about that when we get to V. Void mimics. <laughs> I should come up with an alphabet of mimics. That would be fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> the mimic fun. alphabet. Right, so they, we're gonna do just get, our. They just get their student die. We can't. We can't give each other advantage by uh, studying with each other. So you we're gonna do our second homework. Um, so what okay. we're gonna do is you've got your D4s, uh, Lorelei and Korig. You got your bonus ones. Uh, we're gonna do rolls oh. for the very first class because everybody's got that okay. same one. Uh, so yep. G101 is either an animal handling, nature, or survival check. Um. So we're going to have you roll a d20, and since you are all in that same class, uh, I will let you give advantage to one of the other classmates that you choose. I have a plus. My best plus is a plus three. I have a plus three. For any of those three things. I got a plus six, so I'm good. Oh. Well, then we should probably give advantage to Igor. Why? What about the rest of you? Well, no, we're saying you would roll for all of us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do that then. We're basically yeah. throwing all of our eggs into the Igor plus six basket, but you get to roll twice. Okay. I rolled a 22. That's pretty good. I think. If I did it right. Oh. Okay. That's so pretty 22. good. Yeah. 22. All right. Considering so... that she's blind. That's your homework. Uh, a Lorelei, you can add a D4 to that. Okay. 
Let's see, so what is it I'm rolling? Just roll a d4. It's going to add to the 22 for you. Because you did office hours. Three. So that's 25 total for you. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's an improvement for me. Hi. I did really bad this morning. You really did well uh, in those after hours. Uh, G103 uh, is the next class you guys took with the director. So that role is either going to be Arcana, Wisdom, or Insight. And it looks like everyone but Stick uh, does have two student die in Arcana you can use to make that role. As a student, uh, special bonus for your student die. So two D4s? Mm-hmm. Up to two D4s if you want to use them for the week. I'll use hey. one. Okay. Clever. I got an 18 total. 18 total. Okay. I got a... You said Insight was one of them? Uh, Arcana, Straight Intelligence, or Dexterity. Wait, what? Oh, that or was no. not Hold what on. you said the first time. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this is for 103. Arcana, Wisdom, or Insight? Arcana, yeah, yeah. Wisdom, so I got an 18 as well. 23. 18. I got a 22. 22. Matt, 23. 23. Igor. I got a 23. Igor's a good 23. student. Igor Hi. is a good student. Okay. And then... I know we didn't role play the classes, but I want to catch you up on your first homeworks of the week for your first classes. So G102 is a class you all are in together. Uh, that's controlling your chaos, the foundations of symbology and somatics with Professor Orvlo. So we're going to have you roll Arcana Intelligence. Hold on. Where's that ability? Great book. Arcana, Intelligence, or Dexterity. Um, yeah. Oof. It's bad. I got a 19. 19? 14. 14. That's embarrassing. Yeah. What? 23. 23. Oh, nice. Wait. Nope. 22. That was an, that was an 18, not a 19. Uh, what were those skills again? Arcana, well. Intelligence, or Dexterity. You do still have a, a D4 uh, that you could use if you want to. Okay, I got a 4, so I'm going to use a D4. That's an 8 total. Oh, oh it's just 4 flat. So you rolled, you rolled a 4. Yeah. Then you added what? What was your what do you bonus add to that? for what are your bonuses? Oh, uh, I have. It says I have. I rolled off of Arcana, but it didn't add my. Oh, so it rolled a. It rolled a two, and I got a plus two, to give him three big four. So adding the bonus D four, I have. I got a three. Uh, so I got seven, seven total. Seven. <laughs> okay. And you, because that's an Arcana check, you can add another D4 to use your student die for the week if you'd like. Sure. Uh, that's going to be a one, so it's a nine. <laughs> okay. Yep. And Igor, did you, you got a 14, is that right? Yeah, not my best roll. Okay. All right, and so now, now comes a uh, elective class, uh, Alorale and Stick. You are both enrolled to take G one hundred five, Blame of Knowledge, Lessons from the Founders. Blame. So this is a special knowledge. offering. So you're gonna roll. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Arcana history or insight? Arcana history or what? Insight. And you do both have um, student die in the top topic of history. 
you need those D4 bonuses. I might take without it. The D, without the D4 bonus, I got 23, so I don't think I need it. Okay. Well, what's it like to study? Uh, I got well, I'm a... I'm smart and I don't piss on other people's stick. You said you insight? Higher. Uh, you said history insight? or insight, yep. 24. 24. <laughs> I will use my student die just to fuck with a Lorelei. Fine, I'm using mine too. Fine. You should just <laughs> I got a four, so twenty-three plus four is twenty-seven. Fine. I got a three, so I also got a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Y'all are we're just do part. we're just doing our homework looking at each other like, hmm, did you get number seventeen? <laughs> no, me too. Mm. How about 37? 38 was pretty tough, huh? Not for me. Are you two no, not for you. At each other again, or, or... I didn't piss on anybody. Dick pissed on me. This is clearly a kid pissing contest, and it's amazing. The winner gets to piss on the other person. All right, Korak, uh, you are enrolled in Digging Up the Past, the introduction to Archaeomancy with the deans Augusta Tullis and Plarg. So your Ooh. next role is either okay. insight, history, or religion. And you do still 22. have to die. What's that? I 22. will hold on to my die, and I got a 22. 22, beautiful. Uh, Igor, your last elective class is connecting the dots, the beginning of computational magic. So the next role for you is either arcana, intelligence, or nature. Go with another kind of roll. And oh, you do shit. have two die, uh, two student die there for D4 or D extras. I'm going to have to, because that was terrible. How do I roll mm -hmm. a D4? Uh, I think if you just go 1D4 in the chat, or roll 1D4. In the... There you go. Yeah, there's a 4. Get it. Oh, don't worry. Okay, that, that works. Um, I will happily, can I add that four to my seven? Because uh, that's a seven. Yeah. The computational thing, I, I guess I was so distracted that I couldn't concentrate. So that at least makes it 11. Um, do I have one more dice to you add do. to it? You have or one more D4 you can add. One more, one more, four, no, one you? more, four. One more, four. If you type slash R-O-L-L. -L, oh, gotcha. And slash then one D4. R -O -L -L. Yep. Let's do it. Ooh, yeah, another four. Another Very good. four. So what's that total seven, now? Um, 15. 15. 15. Pretty good. Went from good. failing to a passing grade of my homework. Thank goodness. That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> no failing computational magic. So awful. Okay. So awful. All right. So that is our homework rolls for the night. Uh, we've still got another set of rolls to do for homework, but we'll do that another time for this week. Um. We cutie. might also have some laughs. Hey, cutie. Remember, cutie, what you do to lurkers, you lick them. You ah. do. You lick Hello. them. I love cutie koala. She's amazing. Okay. All right. So let me then move on over to our outro. I do lick them. <laughs> all the licks. All the licky licks. What a fabulous <laughs> adventure. Here, let me pop over here. Laundry is fun. Hey, I have my doubts fun. about changing things, but it works out really good. It's got some cool features that I like. I'm learning it as we go, but it's good. So this is the segment called Stars and Wishes, where we kind of review together our experience in this tabletop session this evening. Um, and we spend some time going over what we really enjoyed, what we're hoping for in the future, and any feedback that I that is helpful for each other. Um, so... As audience members, you're also welcome to participate in Stars and Wishes if you got some things that you're wanting to reach out and share what you enjoyed or what you hope for the next session or what might make it better. Let us know. Uh, let's start with uh, Igor. Squid. Igor. Okay. Stars and, and Wishes. Yeah. Well, stars is that I thought we had a great time in all of our classes and it was fun to see everyone um, having fun. Um, I particularly enjoyed the uh, newly confrontational dynamic between uh, Stick and Lorelai. I think that's very, very fun. 
And I'm really interested in seeing how last week's flashback is is going to tie into our current plot. And um, and that I got a chance to, in my log, think about the kind of sexy dreams that Igor usually has, which don't involve tieflings banging in weird places. And do Just involve... remember, like I said, tiefling sex is like normal sex, just hornier. Yeah, but e- Igor's idea of a sex dream involves literal in- involves integers having illicit relationships with imaginary numbers and um, the square root of negative one. It's a common feature. So um, this is all very gross <laughs> to me. Um, in terms of wishes, I, I mean, don't know. it might be a bit more moist than you're used to. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on where you stick that square root thingy. <laughs> Um, in terms of wishes, I, I don't know. I'm having lots of fun. I, 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 I want to know what happens next. Okay. Cool. Also, cool. I, I, I want to, I want to send a love message to the Allosaurus and I forgot to say that in game, but, um, please believe that, uh, Igor has totally sent another love message to the Allosaurus <laughs> and Sweet. to Jimmy. He doesn't and want to Jimmy, Jimmy to feel neglected. Can't forget Jimmy. The automaton yes. in the library. Yep. Jimmy and the Allosaurus are are my new friends, and I love them both. Okay, we're gonna move up in counterclockwise order to obsessive repulsive obsessive stars oh, and wishes okay. for tonight. Um, it was it was great to have uh, Her Majesty back. I did enjoy the one off as the Lorelai's mommy, but it was nice to have the band back together. Um. Yeah, it was kind of just uh, sort of what you said in the sense that it was very fun to have the adventure essentially consist of a day of school, which is just when you sort of say it out loud, you're like, what? Mm -hmm. But just with all the little dynamics and, you know, trying to incorporate what the equivalent of teen angst is to decision makings and stuff like that, I thought it was really fun. I like the little twist of the smile. Although, like, uh, how Plunge is haunted now forever by the, uh, the spitting mimics, I will forever be haunted by Plunge's smiling face. <laughs> so I think, I think we all have some trauma to overcome. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a really, it was a really fun dynamic. I, I liked it. No, no wishes. Just want to keep it going. I enjoy it. I like seeing what you come up with next. Yeah, we're we're all trauma bonding tonight. Very very cool. Tromding, tromding. Uh, Emmy, how about you? Um, so my star is definitely seeing like the way we continue. Like I like how we continue to play off each other in in situations that, especially like roommate like situations where they could be realistic. Um, <laughs> especially in regards to, you know, being all, we're a whole bunch of fucking angsty ass teens and we all have our own issues that we're coming into this living situation with and this learning situation with, um, where we're all very, very different. I was not expecting stick to piss on me. <laughs> Gotta be honest. It was, it no one does. I got a, if I had a 15 to 20, it was just such a stupid thought in my head. And I said, all right, if I get a 15 through 20 or 16 through 20, I'll pee on her. And it came up in 18 and I was like, oh, shit, this is a big step. I hope I, <laughs> I hope this isn't a, I hope this isn't a wish later for Emmy. It was like, I could have done without the peeing role play I, in the beginning I of the episode. I think <laughs> it made things realistic, though, in like how agitated we could get with each other and how it carried throughout our entire day. Yeah. Um, and how, cause, cause our day would have been very different without that. I think totally. what I you're mean, saying I... is you want stick to piss on you more. No, yes. I do yes, not clearly. want stick to piss on me again. <laughs> I, uh, audience, let us know. You guys... Do you want more content of stick pissing on a Lorelei? Put ones in the chat. <laughs> Once I in the chat for more of golden shower content. An arcane content. trickster. I am gonna try to get back yeah, at him at some tanky. point for it. But I, I did like that. Rubina and I were having our, our girly notes and kind of sticks pissing on me. It wasn't the only stupid ass thing he did all day. Like his, his entire demeanor for the whole day was kind of like asshole wrecked kind of thing. Or you know, like yeah. his, his, the way like he reacted to to our classmate there so it's it's not just 
one person that that was directed at the, his his angsty um behavior so um i think i appreciated that we all figured out that emmy's parents are essentially the big bad in this campaign and i revealed that to her and she's still like eh, i don't really care i'm still mad that you peed on me <laughs> like, that's, that's the way an angry teenager it would was be so, especially a girl it was like so that. good i'm yeah. still mad you peed on me Ugh. Like, um, even though my parents are trying to take over the world and they sent this egg to destroy us all, probably that doesn't excuse your also, actions of this have, morning. Like, no proof it's my parents, even though I think my mother is the literal devil. Duh. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was it was definitely, uh, I think, an interesting experience and a good thing to do do as far as like having us evolve as roommates not just friends and classmates showing us actually living together and reacting with one another yeah so um that's that's definitely a big star for me my wish would be that obsessive repulsive would agree to return to streaming and agree to do <laughs> dream daddy for me I seconded seconded sorry right, my connect my connection is coming in and out well i, I didn't catch that's the, so, that's the so you guys all heard it. Obsessive Repulsive did yeah. agree to do Dream Daddy with us. Yay! Happening. Not stream. Yeah, it is happening. Buzzing. <laughs> See, he said happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh man. oh, man. He's so funny. He's so funny. Is he going to come back? Because now apparently, apparently... Plunge is now obsessive repulsive and sorry guys my street <laughs> crashed that was so weird <laughs> <laughs> all right uh now, now the person who's in in his slot I'm, I'm obsessive repulsive follow me <laughs> <laughs> follow me follow me Follow obsessive. He wants it. See, he's saying follow me. He's saying yeah, you're follow. hearing obsessive repulsive here say that he wants follows. Please, oh, you gotta I'm gonna follow. stream every day until eight, Nintendo A through Z is done. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. There we go. Uh, and you'll be happy to play every daddy in Dream Daddy, not just one. So, stars. Squid's back, definite big star. Oh yeah, hey. thank you. Uh, I like how Foundry is way cooler and easier to use than our previous system. And it really is. in our previous system, I kind of just ignored the like <laughs> the thing, and now I feel a lot more engaged with the like content that is being put up there, and like being able to move around and interact with the world. I feel more the engaged. Journals. Yeah, so I did forget with about the, the uh, with the material. Um, so it's nice to see that that's like fully integrated and fun to use and easy. Um, so that's good. More things in there. <laughs> um, no real wishes. I'm having fun. I'm right. I'm excited to see more. I'm excited to progress through the story a bit. As Let's we see uh, who is really unfurl. telling obsessive to get all these smutty ass books. <laughs> parents apparently yeah it is a uh, it is the smut is definitely not part of the module guys would you believe that would you believe that that's just <laughs> me creating things homebrew what, what? you didn't <laughs> secretly what? tell obsessive to piss on emmy <laughs> that was in, on chapter five of the module it wasn't right? it was, that wasn't part of the that wasn't part of the scripted materials that was written that in was the book. absolutely <laughs> part of the scripted materials <laughs> Uh, I think a star. I mean, look, from... I, I'm feeling oh. a little uncomfortable getting roped into all of these sex games between the Lorelai and Stick. It's it's just kind of one of those things. Is that you or is that Igor? Uh, neither of us. I find it hilarious that Igor doesn't even notice. <laughs> Igor's pretty sure they're banging. He he's not asking questions. I think a, a star for me uh, to kind of echo plunge. I I think Foundry is really interesting. I'm still learning how it works and how to get things set up and how to optimize using it. Um, but I'm glad to hear that feedback that it's more engaging because I I too found Roll Twenty 
not as engaging. It just wasn't drawing it's my boring. interest. See, talking about Roll20 makes me yawn. <laughs> yawn20. I don't, think it, I don't think it's bad, but it, it definitely lacked a lot of the stuff Foundry gives us, which is nice. I like the stuff Foundry gives yeah, us. Yeah, it gives us lots of extra tools to, to interact with each other. It's a bit more integrative. I mean, I was able to pull up a horrifying image of a of a mimic, right? Pretty quickly. And you got a cart. You got a rusty cart on the fly. There also is the a heist. rusty cart during the heist. And it's yep. still there. <laughs> it still is. <laughs> so it may come back. It could. Hey. A <laughs> um, the rusty there cart we will return. Uh, to me, the, the improv and the playing off of each other continues to be hilarious content. <laughs> uh, Y'all just just shock me, what you do. I put some things out in the world and then let you kind of play with, around with it. And you, you, you do great. You do great. <laughs> uh, horrible, wishes? Horrible I don't think I really have any wishes other than to, I hope we can continue to keep playing because this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the that's the frog pond academy my friends thank yes. you everyone for joining um thank you another one hey, everyone, pl everyone plug their shit or and or oh, yeah. what do you got to what do you got to plug what do you got to plug i'm gonna plug no following obsessive repulsive is the thing hey. everyone should be do compulsively yeah do it uh yeah, follow obsessive repulsive. He's not, he's not here to to uh, deny it. So yeah, nothing. I I, I do Neverwinter Nights. It's fun. I've got my usuals plus uh, Tears of the Kingdom, on and off. Um, I mean, I started. Um, let's see, I started a. Uh... Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep last week. We're already on to Ventus's storyline, so we're making some pretty good progress through that. Um, I am still doing Final Fantasy X-2. Um, the next like new game plus will be the last one, and then uh, uh, we're going to be working in the Xeno Gears 100% run in there, so that's going to be fun and exciting, um, which my little brother, Patty Bilbs, has helped put a lot together, so... Um, and then I have a new rainbow overlay that I'm going to start using for June. So in honor of pride. Let's go Great. June. Hey, cool. uh, I'm here on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays on Wednesdays. Usually uh, is the Frog Pond Academy. Thursdays, uh, I'm doing Chrono Cross. And Fridays is Final Fantasy Friday, where we sometimes play 14. Sometimes we play the Pixel Remasters. It depends on what the heck I want to do. Um, yeah, it's my show. I can do that. So thanks everybody for joining. And uh where are we going? Um, let's see. You know who I haven't raided in a while. Ooh. I'm Ooh. thinking we're gonna go here. Is it gonna oh, be yes, because she just fed Raja some yummy, yummy. We're going to go raid Shoop. So Shoop is a fellow member of the Treppy. She is an awesome uh, streamer who talks about real talk uh, like we do here. Um, big proponent of mental health recovery and uh, all those topics. And she's heckin' adorable and she's very entertaining. So yeah, she, she before we raid her, she does have an event. I don't know. Like she'll be announcing like the schedule, I think, within the next week. Um, where she's gotten a whole bunch of female streamers together to talk about uh, women in streaming and how we need to make change as far as um, us like versus male streamer dynamics or it, men in general. <laughs> Ways are dumb. Throw rocks at them. Uh, anyway, yes. Yeah, it's going to be Throw rocks awesome at me, talk. please. Korg would like this very much. Um, Raja so yeah, is her go, cat's name, and he's adorbs, by the let's way. Let's go give some love to Shoop. Uh, she's playing Final Fantasy One, the Pixel Remaster. Um, she's a great human, and uh, we'll see you guys next week uh, with episode 12. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
That's me. Hi. <laughs> Wrong buttons. I can't find these buttons. Where the heck are they? That's 